Football meat is a meaty bone. It's got a big dink. So I think we're live. <clears throat> we're Let's live see. on Twitch. Not seeing us on Twitch, actually. You're not? No. I'll, I'll, I'll search for you, I guess, but I thought. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, yep, you just went live one second ago. Cool. That is cool. QL. Oh. Weird, it's my face. I'm it's your gonna... face. You're in public. I'm in pubic. You're not practicing social distancing. I'm practicing. Oh, wait, you are, because you're on the internet. Uh, I went to Dunks today. That was probably a bad idea. As did I. But I went through the drive through so I didn't have to go in. I did not. I, and uh, then... Um, I'm still working, so, you know, I, I have to go out every day. Well, not every day, but, you know. I'm working just from where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> right, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. I, I'm... I, well, this is a discussion we can have later. But I think that the ability to work home and uh, it's just a big classist rift, isn't it? Yeah. You know, if you're a, you know an immigrant who just came to this country and you don't have maybe a grasp of language or formal education, you might be working uh, cleaning offices or bussing tables or something like that. You don't have maybe a grasp Whoa, of it's an echo. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> just getting the YouTube link. Um, but you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff you can't do remotely ever. Yeah. But very nature, you have to be there. Even your job, yep. you know, like you have to be there. You know, like I do indeed. That's it. There's nothing around it or being a mechanic. You've got to be there unless you're like, you know, white collar or, uh, you know, like a office fucking salary man like me, hm. you know. That's it. I'm totally a salary man. <laughs> you kind of are a salary man. It's pretty cool. I, no. Oh wait. No. I mean, well, there's pros and cons. Let's say. You know. All right. There is the YouTube link. Okay. So yeah. Um. So society is falling apart. Yep. Um. It's the end of the I world mean, as we know it. Yeah, that's 100 percent true. Welcome to the new normal. Uh, I had had a, uh, a plan to go to New Orleans next month. Uh, I saw that New Orleans shut everything down today, so it looks like that won't be happening. So they're the new uh, Madagascar, then. <laughs> well, Canada already went Madagascar. Yeah, well, listen. Flatten the curve. Trudeau is now fucking President Madagascar. Flatten the curve, my guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to get into too much of what I think maybe should or shouldn't happen, honestly. Um, Where are you going? Did you pick up this quest over here? From Sage Truthseeker? Yeah. Nope. Okay, pick that now up. Now I did. All right. Let's go over here and turn it in. Oh, that's easy. But yeah, so for those who have not figured it out, I uh, I work in, in restaurants. Um, so we were one of the first businesses hit by this. Um, you know, they're pretty much seemingly in most states at this point have shut down bars and restaurants for anything other than takeout. I don't know, has New York done that yet? Yes. Um... Take out only. Yeah. Today was actually the first day that it was uh, mandatory in Massachusetts, um, but we started it yesterday. Uh, we we had self-imposed before the ruling came down. Um, where the hell are we? Oh, this is not the right rise. Oh well. Um. So we are now running on like a skeleton crew of basically one. One manager, uh, one uh, like takeout bagger type person, 
and one uh, driver, and then like two cooks and a dishwasher. Okay. Um. So luckily, I had I've just started managing recently, so I'm still working. Um, but uh, the lady Columbia, who also works with me, is not working at the moment. Um. And you know most of my coworkers are not working, so that sucks. Um, that does. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of trash. Um, and uh, you know, basically the government seem pretty inept at uh, handling this, both on the state and federal level. Speak? Yes, sir. Very well. Uh, take the follow-up or no? Yeah. All right, go on. Um, so, yeah. Um, so that's, you know, and, like, you know, I worked yesterday, um, the first day that we uh, had set things up like that. And, um, you know, had a lot of people coming in because it wasn't mandatory to be shut down yet. Had a lot of people coming in, like, thinking we were going to be open for normal business, and we weren't. Um, so that was interesting. Um, I bet. I guess it's really just starting to sink into people now how much things are actually changing. Um, yeah, I don't know. How has your experience been so far? Um, okay. Oh... So, I was working up until Monday. Uh, You're going to uh, Gadget Zane. What, what is our purpose? Are we going back to Uld? We are... No, we're going to Uldum, which is different. All right. We were at Uldaman last time. Do I need to take anything? Uh, Not at the moment, but we will probably need to make a bank run for you. I'm sure you have a lot of your quest items in the bank. But there's a bank in Gadget Zane, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so for me, I was, I had a full day of work all last week. Um, then this Sunday night, we got, uh, oh, oh, I guess to sort of follow in what, um, Solomon was saying, you know, I don't know if you guys figured it out, but I work in the, uh, tech field. I've, I've been doing it for like, uh, 10 years. Um, so Solomon and I have a very different, you know, way of making a living, uh, you know, my company is like a kind of multinational, big ass company, and um, you also just started with this company. Yeah, I started in January. Uh, anyway, we we have offices in Asia and Europe and Oceania as well as North America. So we were all open across all the continents um, until uh, Monday. Uh, Sunday night, they closed our New York offices, and then today, actually, we closed our Germany office, which is the actually our main corporate headquarters, and then um, everybody in the company since the main HQ has been working from home. Um, the only exception is that we have actually some... Uh, logistics staff that handle like shipping of orders for different parts and modules and things that have to do with the software that we sell. Mm -hmm. um, so unfortunately those folks due to the nature of their job kind of have to physically be in a location to really do their job. They're packing orders and shipping and receiving and stuff like that. Um, I think they're on like a, a rotation though, where like they're kind of doing like a skeleton crew type thing where like one of them will be in and the next day or whatever, they just kind of cycle in and cycle out. Um, but my position, I've been working from home since Monday morning. Um, I will be continuing to work from home from like 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day until indefinitely, I guess, until they, you know, uh, tell us otherwise. Um, Beyond the kind of work stuff, uh, you know, that's been actually pretty s relatively seamless for me because most of my work anyway was all online and, you know, using 
like online chats and and screen share sessions and conference type things. So uh, my job doesn't really require me to be in any particular location as long as I have access to a VPN. Mm. You know, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that said, I prefer to actually go into the office, which sounds crazy, but <laughs> um, you feel more productive when you're not at home. Yeah, because when I'm at home, like, I just feel torn. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm home and I'm working. But, like, wouldn't it be cool if I was just playing guitar right now? Or wouldn't it be cool if I was playing Street Fighter 2 for some reason? Um, when I'm at work, I don't have that, you know, mm. tearing. But while I'm at home now, it's cool to, like, I take my lunch and, like, my wife is hanging out with me and, like, we're watching a TV show or something. So that's been kind of cool, but... Yeah. Um, so that's like my work experience. Uh, we can talk about what it's been like, other aspects of life out and about, you know, food and all that stuff. What have you been, what has your experience been with like, um, with eating? Uh, well, uh, mostly I've been eating at work. Um, you know, we had... We weren't like completely out of groceries, uh, but we were probably going to brave market basket tomorrow. Um, oh my god, bring a gun! Yeah, uh, I'm kind of planning on trying to get like you know a big bag of rice and beans or some shit like that. Um, something that'll keep for a while that we can just you know survive on. I would say if you could find like an Asian grocery store, yeah, <clears throat> um, there be- there are a few options around. We might you know make a few different trips. I don't know. Um, or hit a few different spots while we're out. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, so as far as, like, general stuff, like, um, it's so weird how, like, rapidly it happened. Um, Two, three days, yeah. Because, like, as recently as, like, Friday, <laughs> I was talking to, like, a coworker about, like, Oh yeah, we should go out like to a bar next week. Like you know, and then all of a sudden, like in like three four days, like everything's different. You know, um, <clears throat> that's not happening. Um, no, it's not. But uh, yeah, so like I remember, um, I want to say on like. Probably like Thursday or Friday, I went to like CVS or 7 Eleven or something like that. And you know, everything was normal. Like, had, you know, toilet paper and all that shit, which I still don't understand why people are hoarding toilet paper. But uh, people are dumb. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not something that like is helpful against coronavirus. So I don't, I don't understand it. Like, the disinfectant stuff I get, like, okay, that makes sense. So like, disinfectant, bleed, sure. But, Toilet paper? Masks. Well, what I heard is that during the lockdowns that happened in China, people were running out of toilet paper. Mm. So people are like, it's going to happen here. Better buy, you know, 50 fucking 30 packs of toilet paper, even though I'm one person. Yeah. Um, I want to say it was on, like, Saturday. We were leaving for work, and, like, somebody that lives, like, a couple doors down from us, like, was coming home with, like, four giant things of fucking toilet paper and I was like, oh god. Um, I think Saturday was probably... It's either I think it was Saturday was the first time I started seeing stores like out of like toilet paper and stuff. Um, you know, maybe it, would, maybe it happened faster at places like Target or whatever, but like <clears throat> Saturday was the first time I saw it at like 7-Eleven, you know. <clears throat> um, and then, uh, yeah, so... I went to, uh, we've got this little, like, kind of mini convenient, or mini, like, supermarket in, uh, in Davis Square near my work called Be Fresh. Um, oh, yeah, it's, like, there's, like, a Dunkin' Donuts inside. Yeah, it's, like, a stop and shop subsidiary kind of thing. I don't know. Okay. But, uh, I went in there on Sunday, I believe. Yeah, Sunday. Um just to see what things were like, because we were actually kind of running low on toilet paper, so I was like, I guess we should probably get some. Um, We were down to, like, two rolls or something, so I was like, we better get some while we can. Uh Um, They were 
you know, completely out of toilet paper. Uh, they were also com completely out of bread and pasta. Um, but they had a lot of other stuff still. It's like bread also seems like a real fucking weird thing to buy right now because it's not. Or milk. People are like crazy about milk. <laughs> yeah. What do you need milk yeah. for? Yeah, the milk. People are freezing milk, which I guess, you know, that's something you can do. And I guess you can kind of freeze bread, but. Yeah, sure you can. Like. Just reheat it in your toaster oven, basically. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know how good it tastes after it's been frozen, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Um, we used to do it when I was a kid for some reason. My my, I don't know why. Maybe because we were poor. And it was like when the bread was on sale, we bought a lot. There you go. Um, but yeah, so bread, pasta, and, and toilet paper, and then obviously like soap and disinfectant wipes and things like that, hand sanitizer. Yeah. Um, why's my phone going buck? But so, yeah, since then, like, I haven't really been to stores other than, like, 7-Eleven. I haven't noticed anything else, like, running out or running low uh, other than that. Um, I did go to CVS today, and they were still seemingly out of, like, toilet paper. And uh, and I did notice milk was running low today. There was only, like, skim milk left. Yeah. Like, yeah, nobody likes skim milk. Yuck. <laughs> Plenty of soy and almond milk, though, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. But uh, other than that, um, you know, like I said, tomorrow is going to be my excursion into, like, a supermarket, so we'll see how that goes. We did end up, we did end up finding toilet paper, so we're kind of good in that department for the time being. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how the food shopping goes. Um... I know Lady Columbia went to, I think, Star Market or something, and she was like, they were all out of, like, frozen pizzas and things like that. So it's kind of interesting to see what people, you know, what there's a run on. Um, you know, sort of, you know. Um, you know, in a sort of dire way, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so it's been, uh, it's been good times. Um, you know, obviously, um, obviously it's definitely reducing my income and, you know, uh, reducing her income to zero. Uh, right. so that's fun, but she has filed for unemployment, so we'll see how that goes. Um. And then, of course, uh, basically all the politicians are talking about uh, different, you know, relief and stimulus packages now. And um, the the uh, establishment Democrats just really seem to want to lose more because um, <laughs> they're basically letting letting Trump and the Republicans get to the left of them on this, which is real fucking weird. Like the Republicans are out here talking about like a UBI. And like you know, sending out checks, and the Democrats are like talking about tax credits, and it's like what? People don't need fucking tax credits right now. Uh, we're, oh, I, I supposed to turn in the oh, quest to the little, little platform, and then you get to talk to the ghost. All right. Go through all of his. Oh shit. Options. Options. What are the plates of Uldum? What are the plates of Uldum? Excuse me? So what's inside Uldum? I'll return when I have the plates of Uldum. Okay. Now we're going fifty yards to the north or what uh I'm just yeah, turn no it more. again to the to the platform. Oh. God damn it. Complete quest. Oh, oh shit. Dinged. Did it just ding? Yeah, you ding a ling dinged. Ah, I got a big greasy dingling. Uh huh. I've got a big greasy dingling. Oh, I guess we're going back to TV then. Yeah, we're just gonna hearth, hmm. hearth to gadget saying, and then fly to TV. <clears throat> I'm hearthing. Um, let's see. Uh, so you know, you guys live near, you know, like uh, like a city, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. 
so for me, obviously, I live uh, 40 miles from a very large city, but more or less I live in the pretty uh, suburban slash rural area. Right. So my experience, I'm sure, has been very different. We have just... Well, Long Island is a very crowded area. We have probably, I think, 3 million people, all mm -hmm. told. Right. Are we going TB? Yeah. Right? Um, it's just a little more spread out. Right. Um, so we had to do like a normal, we pretty much go food shopping every weekend just cause that's when we have time. And I went this past weekend and yeah, we, their toilet paper was completely wiped out. Toilet paper, tissues, paper towels, napkins, all of it's gone. Mm. All of it. I don't know why. Um, Did you try multiple places or just like one? No, because I actually just sort of had enough, but mm -hmm. I just happened to like be walking through that aisle. I was like, oh, whatever. Um, gone, wiped out completely. Uh, rice and canned foods were completely wiped out. Mm -hmm. Damn. Uh, dried beans were completely wiped out. Jesus, that's worse than here. Um, At least from what I've seen. So far. Milk was wiped out except for like soy and almond and coconut and oat milk, which was fine because that's what I buy anyway. I don't buy cow milk because I think it's gross. <clears throat> um, uh, coffee was running low, which had me scared because I drink a lot of coffee. Yeah, sugar is apparently also running low. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, what else? Uh, Eggs were running low, but we got it. We actually eat a lot of eggs, like for breakfast. We, we make eggs a lot, so. But I also live down the street from a chicken farm. Um, today, uh, my wife went to the chicken farm and bought, uh, like a normal order of like a dozen eggs, and we got, we bought up cherry pie, nice, a pound cake. They just make all that stuff there. It's great, sweet. Um, so we got some of that stuff. I bought like some frozen meat. Um, for the most part, we have what we need. Uh, but again, we happen to be in the store on Saturday and it was just a total nightmare. Like, I don't understand it. Like, buy what you need. Yeah. If you have a house full of 10 people and you need a lot of toilet paper, go nuts. But if you're one dude, you do not need like, you know, 10 of those mega cubes of TP. It's just, it's just unreasonable. So like when we buy toilet paper, we usually buy like one of the like big, you know, 12 packs or whatever you know yeah you probably buy it like and it lasts probably a long time yeah you know two three weeks maybe a month you know depending on what's going on in our, in our bowels and whatnot yeah right um so this time when we like went out we basically bought like double that just because we who knows we don't know what's going on but like no we weren't gonna buy out the whole fucking store you know like you know, just get a little no, extra because that's, that's rude um, we bought like two bags of sugar, um, a couple other like little things, uh, uh -huh. baby wipes, a box of those. She kind of uses those anyway, so, um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, I went to Dunkin' Donuts today, they were open, um, yeah, they're still open here too. They've like, got all, take, all their chairs, take, like you know, put away somewhere, so you can't like sit in there. Got it. Yeah, it's just take out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, give them like a three dollar tip. Yeah. That's nice. Just trying to try to support your the people that are taking care of us while this is going on. No, I didn't even, you know, stupidly, I didn't even think about that today when I went through the drive-thru. Yeah. And, like, same thing with, like, you know, Uber Uber Eats and, and, you know, fucking DoorDash and Grubhub, which I'm sure are, like, doing a whole lot of business right now, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, don't forget the actual drivers. Um, sure, sure. They, uh, they need to pay their bills, so. And just in general, if you're doing like takeout from restaurants, you know, tip, you know, if you're going to pick it up yourself, you know, tip those people. Um, yeah. 
because they're probably a lot of them are probably people who are servers and bartenders who are now just doing fucking you know minimum wage work for takeout and they need they need the help too so true true <clears throat> um you know hopefully we are gonna see some sort of emergency ubi at some point um and uh we'll see how that works out i mean i'm really worried about the banks and the airlines because they they mm. need the, they need help you know mm. what the fuck like who gives a shit <laughs> Fuck them. They, they want to charge you for every fucking carry-on and piece of luggage, and like, now they're shit in the bed? Fuck them. I don't need them. I don't fly anywhere anyway. Mm. Fuck them. I mean, you know, I was about to fly somewhere, but, you know. Um... They're Actually, not going to disappear. There's there's still going to be, like, yeah. ways to fly. I'm not worried about them. Yeah. Um, I haven't actually canceled my trip yet, but I'm going to kind of hold out for another week or two just to see what's going on but well they should st they should give you a refund anyway yeah example. i've already checked they they might not give me a refund but they will give me a, a travel account yeah 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 that's that happened to me once i had to cancel a trip with JetBlue, and they gave everything back and they're like well you're just gonna put an account for you and you can reuse it whenever mm -hmm. and i guess because of coronavirus uh airbnb is doing complete refunds so um, so, you know, in that department, you know, like I said, I'm, I am going to wait just to see what happens a bit, but the if things don't you know, turn around in like a week or two, then I'm probably just going to cancel the trip because there's no real point in going to New Orleans if all the bars and restaurants are closed. No point, really. Yeah, none. Like, I mean, it's, that, still, it's, still, a, why you go there. it's still a beautiful place and nice weather, yeah. but, you know. Yeah, it's only great if you're getting hammered. All right. Like that's nine tenths of the fun of that city. You're just getting shit faced in daylight and just walking around like an idiot and eating like a fucking pig. Yeah, that's what I did the last time I was there in November, and I recommend it. Yeah. Um. So we'll see about that. Um. I was supposed to go to uh. Oh, yeah, Germany to at the end of last right? month. Yeah. That is obviously canceled. <laughs> I'm not going. To, I'm not doing any international travel. No. Uh, that was for work. I don't even you know, know if there will be any international travel. Like domestic flights will probably still be going, but you know, I, I, I have a feeling they're going to shut down international flights. Yeah, probably. Uh, where are we going now? To go to the orb. Uh, apparently, we're flying to org. All right. Where's the dumb thing? Over it's here. the big tall building, right? Yeah, over here. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> theaters, movie theaters are closed. Gyms. Uh, Gyms are closed. One of uh, my wife's best friends works on Broadway. She mm. does uh, prop design and stuff like that for Broadway shows. So they had a show that opened on Friday and it closed on Saturday. Yeah. So she's just out of work now because... <laughs> yeah. You know. And that's a lot of people. Um, yeah, all of Broadway in New York is, is shut down. So anybody working in theater, performance, all that stuff that's toast. Um, you all know that uh, sports is over now. There's no more sports. Yep, sports are done. So, uh, NBA, NFL, I mean, N NFL already finished. So NBA, NHL, XFL, MLB, uh, Formula One, you know, all those big sports, really. Yeah. Uh, they are all canceled or postponed indefinitely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's weird because in times of strife or stress or national emergencies people actually tend to look at stuff like sports as like a a release like a, a way to sort of escape reality and just enjoy themselves um and in this instance you just don't have that that's not there anymore that's gone mm -hmm. um hanging out with your friends is gone mm -hmm. go to the bar is gone go to the movies is gone uh, going shopping is gone you know, um, you can go outside. You could probably take a walk somewhere. 
You could probably go on a hike somewhere, I guess. As long as you stay six feet away from other people. Uh, you know. Um, that's it. So pretty much everything is on hold from now on. Um, I, and I don't, you know, kind of like you were saying, like you may have your opinions and whatever, and I may have my opinions and our opinions might be different, but whatever the case may be, I fear people more than I fear the virus. Indeed. I think people are the problem. I don't think people can be trusted. I think people will absolutely fucking trample you if it means getting the last roll of toilet paper. Mm -hmm. I think it really came down to it. People would loot mm -hmm. and try to take from other people. Mm -hmm. And that is why I have a gigantic shotgun in my bedroom. Mm. You just get that? Yeah, Sunday. Mm. I never, ever thought I would do that. I never wanted to be a gun mm. owner. Ever. Mm. But, you know, like, we live kind of like in a, you know, we live in a place where, like, if something happened here, nobody would fucking know. Yeah. Nobody would know. It's not like I live, like, in an apartment or an apartment building or, you know, whatever. Like, we don't even have a fucking town police. Mm. it's county police yeah. so it's like you're not getting any help I don't know it sucks uh, like I'm really why'd you go with a shotgun um, in New York State you do not need a license mm. or anything you can just go into a store and buy a shotgun All right. need a license for a handgun I assume you do and you have to wait for it fair enough yeah. Um, yeah. Generally, Alex. I would not consider shotguns to be ideal for home defense, but um, you know, if, if that's all you can get right now, then that's all you can get. That is all I can get. Um, anything you hit with, it's going down for sure. Oh yeah, greetings, man. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Fucking really bizarre times. And uh, everything kind of sucks. It does indeed. We're taking this asshole's follow up. Yes. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. They're testing vaccines now, so hopefully something comes of that. Yeah. Um. It just, it's so disappointing that our country just got caught with its pants down. I mean, the whole world got caught with its pants down. Yeah, for sure. But, like, we had more... <clears throat> like, we knew this shit was popping off in Asia and Europe, and still, like, we did nothing. Yeah, uh, I actually, I kind of talked to this about... I talked about this with Lady Columbia the other day, and, like, I... It's tough, because I, I obviously come at things generally from a, a leftist perspective, and leftists are generally not a fan of uh, America being, like, you know, the world police and, like, having their fucking nose and everything and whatever. At the same time, um, in previous crises uh, such as this, whether it be Ebola or SARS or, you know, whatever... All these different things. Um, America has often been at the forefront of international cooperation in... Dealing. Should we go to the Zeppelin? Yes. Weird. America's often been at the forefront in the in dealing with these things. Um, like yeah. polio? Well, yeah. But, I mean, I'm talking about more recent stuff. Um but just, you know, putting together, like, international task force, like, research, you know, uh, humanitarian aid, you know, whatever, uh, stuff like that. And I do wonder if that 
you know, under the Trump administration, having, you know, kind of pulled away from a lot of international relations and sort of internet, like taking charge of the international community, if, if this is, if this is a result of that, um, <clears throat> cause you know, we've had plenty of these like scares before and none of them have ever done this. Um, yeah, like SARS, bird flu, avian flu, fucking this thing and that thing. There's always like one every couple of years. And I don't know if this is a result of the disease itself being being worse, or if this is a result of, you know, America's lack of action, um, or a combination of the two. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll be the first to admit, I didn't really take it seriously last week. Mm -hmm. like, I was just like, oh, this is like more of the fucking media wetting its bed. Oh, it's saving flu. It's SARS. Because, unfortunately, the media in this country has conditioned us to be skeptical of it because of the sensationalism. And they want to get clicks and they want to sell fucking advertisements. If they didn't say Chicken Little, if they didn't say the sky was falling every 10 minutes, you wouldn't doubt it. But it's so hard to, like, parse the signal from the noise these days because there's so much fucking noise. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, if every 10 minutes everything's a world, oh my god, there's a meteor coming close to Earth and it's like, dude, it's 80 million miles away, we're fine. Right. Or, oh my god, oh, there's a, you know, Ebola is in Africa and it's going to come and kill us all and it doesn't. Or, you know, everything... When we were growing up, you had storms. Now they name every single storm. Mm -hmm. Back then, you only named hurricanes. Now they name every winter storm, every tropical depression, everything. Polar they vortex just, bomb, Joe. Yeah, they, they just like want to blow everything out of fucking order. And so then, when this whole thing came around, I was like, oh, Jesus, more of this fucking stupid bullshit, whatever. Keep my head down and just do whatever the fuck I normally do. I'm going to keep going to work. I'm going to keep going to restaurants. I'm going to keep doing XYZ. Um, you know, I had a uh, you know, you know this, Solomon, but, you know, I had a trip planned to hang out with some friends um, up in Massachusetts this weekend. And I was like, yeah, fuck this. Like, I'm, I'm going. Like, they can eat my balls. And then, you know, my sister and my wife came down to me really hard on it. They're like, you're not fucking going anywhere, dude. Um, You know, and it sucks to, like, wrestle with that. Like, in my head, I was like, these fucking... People are blown it out of proportion to the point where my sister and my wife think it's a big deal, la la la. And then sort of realizing the fact, like, oh shit, like I would say between like Thursday and the weekend, I, it really like hit home to me. Like, no, this is fucked up. Like, I shouldn't be going to this. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, and I didn't, obviously. Uh, but it's like. Yeah, it's so hard. If every 10 minutes that they're talking about some new world-ending crisis or some new fucking thing, it's like, I don't know what to believe. Like, I don't trust CNN at all. And that is supposedly the most trustworthy news organization in our country. And it just means nothing to me because, in my opinion, they basically handed the Trump presidency the fucking Oval Office. Twice. Yeah, and like, and they were surprised when it happened. They were surprised. And they will be when again. They, when they gave him all this free airtime, and he was on every single broadcast, they were showing him all the time, talking about him all the time. Like, they gave him a free platform. The amount of advertising they gave him would number in the billions and billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. If he had to pay for it. But he didn't. He just sat back and he didn't have to do any fundraising. He didn't have to do anything. He just sat back and was like, cool. Right. I'm on TV again all the time with every fucking outlet, with every fucking newspaper, CNN leading the way. And then they got him in office and then he turned on them like he does turn on everybody else. And they were like, oh my God, how did this happen? You fucking did it. You did it. Speaking Idiots. of elections. Um... Are those over yet? Nope. <laughs> oh. I just assumed, you know, they were just like, oh, we're done. Nope. Uh, not yet. 
Um, it's actually... It's kind of... It's, so it's all a mess. Like, uh, today... I know Illinois had their primary. Um, Ohio was supposed to have their primary. And it has been postponed for the moment. Um... There may be a couple of other states that were supposed to go today that I think mostly postponed. I want to say Illinois might be the only one that actually happened. <clears throat> um, but uh, the DNC is not particularly happy about them postponing them because they want they want to get their boy Joe Biden all up in there and ready to switch to general election mode. But uh, postponing these elections for oh. public health concerns is you know putting a crimp in that. <clears throat> So they're like basically telling people that telling like the states that if they don't, you know, hold their elections by a certain time that they're going to like lose half their delegates or some shit like that. Like it's fucking insane. Like and like and they're so like, you know, like most of Biden's voters are fucking old ass boomers, like the people most at fucking risk to go out. And yeah. 100%. And they're basically just telling them, yeah, go to the polls. Rock and roll. Also, most poll workers are old. Like, almost every time I go to vote, it's like some like little old lady fucking, you know. This last time, it was like one little old lady, one old guy who was like on a respirator <laughs> in there fucking but, doing it. You better hang on to that thing. That thing's going to be in a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I think there was one guy who was maybe, like, maybe my age or a little older, but, like, everybody else was pretty fucking old. Um, you know, all either in or close to the danger zone, as they say. Highway to the danger zone. Carry on. But, yeah, so, like, Ohio, um, the governor wanted to cancel it or postpone it or whatever. Um... And, like, the DNC was kind of fighting it, and it ended up going to, or I guess, I think the the, le the state legislature wouldn't convene to, like, make a ruling on it. So, it ended up having to go to court, and then the judge was like, nah, we're not, I'm not doing that, like, I'm not gonna postpone the election by judicial fiat, this is business of the legislature. Um... But then, like, the governor convinced, like, the fucking, the health director, like, the Ohio health director to cancel it, like, as a health emergency or whatever. So, it got canceled, like, kind of at the last second. <clears throat> yeah. um, like, I think it just came down, like, yesterday, and the election was supposed to be today. Um, and that's when the DNC started, like, really fucking, you know, basically telling Ohio that they were going to fucking, you know they don't reschedule this by like early June or something that they're gonna fucking take away half their delegates I don't even know how that works well the thing that you you sort of begin to realize which I don't I don't actually understand it so the parties themselves really aren't necessarily beholden to their primary elections. Correct. Right. Like so it's basically like you're voting in a private club that yeah. you've kind of registered for that doesn't really have any actual rules that govern it. They are not legally beholden to their primary elections. Um, they have... Which is problematic. Yeah. Uh, I think political parties should be abolished, but, you know, that's just me. Um... They are beholden to their own, like, bylaws, basically, um, which they can also change, you know, whenever they deem it necessary. Um, so, but yes, they are not, uh, they are not beholden to any sort of law on how they do their nomination process. Which I find curious that, like, I register to vote for the primary through the government. Correct. Because it's a private club. Like, if I joined, uh, I don't know, like, the fucking, um, I don't know, like, the fucking ping pong aficionados of, of New York t tomorrow. Right. 
and and we were having an election to see who the head of fucking ping pong was. I wouldn't go to New York State and be like, "Yo, register me for the fucking ping pong election." Mm-hmm. They would be like, "What are you talking about? It's a private club. Fucking, you do it." I, it. It's like such a bait and switch shit to me. I don't fucking get it, man. Yeah. Dirty. Um. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you can still like write in whoever you what want. Would you I guess. Ask of death? No matter who they nominate. Um, that's, I guess, kind of how they get a, get around it or get away with it or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of all bullshit. Wait, where are we going? Uh, we were picking up a quest with some dude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I almost left. I thought we were going to one of the other towns. My bad. Not yet. Mage Quarter. All right, sorry. We're getting so caught up. Well, you have a lot of ammo this week to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. A lot to cover. See if we need any quest items. Are we on? Ooh, we're on a oh no, no, we have somebody in the chat on uh, on YouTube's YouTube side. Uh, John Kennedy, welcome. Man hasn't done it since 2016. I think he's talking about your Skyrim, um, hmm. misadventures. Which, uh, yeah, that that is that right? That series is over. Um, like the Skyrim series specifically. Where am I going? Uh, over where I am. I'm standing at the quest giver. Um, yeah, I just went, for some reason I went to the other side. I don't want to. Yeah. I accept. Yeah. So the uh, the misadventures of Solomon and Skyrim that was like you know a series that had a a beginning and an end, um, and that has ended. Uh, the Misadventures of Solomon in the Commonwealth Wasteland was the follow-up, or the continuation of that series. Um, and that is also over, um, as far as just the Misadventures of Solomon in general. Um, I haven't found a new home for that yet, so... When another open-world RPG that is suitable for Solomon comes along, then... You will probably see more Solomon, but for now, uh, Solomon is on hiatus. Um, I do have the Misadventures of Solomon and Azeroth, but that's not really a, not really a Misadventures of Solomon series. It's not canon, is what we're saying, <laughs> right? And that that is the continuation of Dogmeat's uh, adventures in in Azeroth. <laughs> I've sort of replaced both of the original main characters. I mean. Still beefs well, but you know he's technically. I mean, in 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 lore, he's the same beefs well, but in in actuality, it's a different character, like a different tune. I switched him from a regular Torin to a High Mountain Torin, one of the new allied races. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I got I got bored of being a worgen. I don't I don't know. So, I decided to kill dog meat in the lore and. Uh, his friend Solomon replaced him. That's crazy talk. But that's not that's not part of the general misadventures of Solomon canon. Um, it's just a different Solomon who acts a lot like the same Solomon that you know. But he's fat, so that's how you know he's not Solomon. Solomon's not fat. No, he's not. Um, but yeah, I forget. I forget where we were. What we were talking about? Oh, just how ridiculous uh, primaries are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, no, like I, I feel like you know, um, I, I feel like the Democrats letting Republicans get to the left and left of them on this is like. The Democrats may never win another election again if that happens. Like, I kind of feel like that party is actually cooked. Yeah, like we talked about it. I think two streams ago, but it might really be time for a, a new, a new party to replace them. Um, an American Labor Party or something along those lines. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Like, I. <sighs> I went into this election thinking that 
Sanders had sort of irrevocably shifted the party to the left. Mm-hmm. Um, and I still kind of want to believe that. Right. Because you do see the mainstream fucking Dems like Biden and shit having to talk about like, oh, you know, I do accept. Uh, I want. Like, just socially anyway. Mm-hmm. But in terms of their economic policies in terms of their legislation they're not all that different from the republicans really in some respects they're worse in some respects as we just discussed if you're letting them get left to you what are you doing Mm -hmm. um like they can't commit like they're halfway like at least you can say about the republicans even though i think that right now they're pretty much Doing the worst that they could ever have done and sort of dragging their party through the mud. Mm. You know, say what you will about, you know, your other Democrats before. Well, really, I mean, it's pretty much been all downhill since Reagan, I guess. Oh, yeah. Um, but I don't... <laughs> In retrospect, I don't really see them, uh, like the more recent Republican presidents, as being all that different from Clinton or yeah, Obama. No. I mean, it's like the same shit. It's just a different, like, you know, the Democrats were more socially liberal. Sure. They were like, okay, yeah, Roe v. Wade, we, we want to uphold that. Okay. Uh, even going into, like, the first Obama election, the only person going into the primary that openly supported gay marriage was Mike Gravel. Yeah. The only one out of all of them, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Yeah. And that's why I have voted for him in the primary. Mm. Um, even though I knew, obviously, he had no chance, but it was just like a you know statement thing. Sure. Um, when you look at guys like Clinton... Clinton was heavily involved in promoting fucking MLMs. Oh, I did not know that. Yes. He was in fucking Amway's pocket. Hmm. You, yeah, oh yeah. He was like deep in bed with the fucking Chamber of Commerce, which is, by the way, a few people don't know, Chamber of Commerce is not a government thing. Chamber, yeah. of, Conver- Com- uh, Chamber of Commerce is a trade organization. Yes. That's it. It has nothing to do with the government. It sounds official. It does, but it is not. But it is not. It's just bullshit. But local local polities, local governments basically kowtow to them, so they might as well be official. Right. Uh, but he was he was big in, he was big with them. He was big with uh MLMs. And uh you know, Obama got elected and then he immediately put half of Goldman Sachs on his fucking cabinet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, like, Obama ran, you know, a pretty left-wing campaign, but uh, when he actually got into office, he was, you know, not not that good. Um, you know, he was... the same. Hello. I mean, he was... I mean, I don't even know. Like, sometimes you'd be like, well, he was better than Clinton, but, I mean, was he? I don't know. It's tough. Like, they both did some pretty horrible things. Um you know, not not many presidents haven't, uh, so it's not like you know, yeah. Like for all his faults, I mean, he's a, probably the best president in my lifetime, I guess. Who's that? Obama. Obama. Yeah, I mean, I can't. It's just, I literally couldn't think of anybody else. It's just real slim pickings, like you know, um, Carter. Well, he's not. Well, I guess he was technically. Um, he was when you were born. For a short time in in my lifetime. Carter was president when I was born. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, you know, there haven't really been a lot of good presidents, to be honest. Um, so you know, fun times. All right, we're looking for some owl beasts. Like you could say that there have been some that did great things. Sure. Sure. Or get credit for doing great things. Sure, sure. Like, do I think that FDR actually, you know, uh, won World War II? No. Mm. I don't think he did. 
<laughs> you know, he... Well, there's an owl beast in the woods over here. Sweet. So what do you have to do? Kill Use it. the drums on their bodies? Oh, yeah, I might be uh, slightly useless for a little while. Oh, actually, he's pretty low level. I'm, happy. I'm still leveling up my two-handed sword skill. That's fine. He's an owl beast. Yeah, loot him first if you have anything to loot on him. Nope. We're both gonna have to do that ten times. Great. Oh no! Is another one. He's also dropping some quest items, which is nice. I need to get closer. Oh please! Stop making a fool of yourself. Oh shit! I could use my um my doohickey. The talent point at some point. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna drum him. Oh, I guess you got that one, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have one, apparently. I thought I had zero. It's one what? The Wildkin yeah, music. Yeah. You drummed him the first time. I... Oh, I couldn't tell. Alright, so I didn't try to we will go back and forth. Yeah. Yay, spirit tapping that ass. Uh, I'll get this one, right? Yep. Well. Uh, does go up. Oh, it takes a second, I guess. Should I kill the other one? Uh, actually, you said you have some. You're leveling, right? Oh boy. Yeah, whatever. Me, you dummy. Oh boy. What? You weren't hurting him at all. No, I'm not. At like 190 out of like 245, I think, on my weapon skill. Alright, so you grab one and I grab one? From whichever one's left. Got it. Yay! Um, let's see what else we were saying. Oh, yeah, I mean, I just can't believe that they're gonna trot that guy out there. Yeah, they're gonna trot that guy out there and lose again. 100%. Oh. Yeah, keep... And, like, normally, like, in, in a... you, you get this one, right? How many do you have? Uh, three. Uh, yeah, then I need to target. Um, Get him, buddy. Normally, in a situation like this, uh, where we're having this, we've had a really bad response so far to this, you know, emergency situation, and where the economy is tanking and is yes. going to get worse before it gets better. Um, the, the challenger party would have, you know, a rather large advantage. And they just seem to want to throw that away. Like, they're just like, nah, we're good. Not enough rage. Need more rage. I don't know if you saw that they did some fact checking on Biden's uh, statements and claims during the uh, debate mm. the other night. I'm sure that was great. I believe this one's yours. Just all of it's just false. Yeah, but. Just completely just lying, or I don't know. I mean, part of it is he could just be senile and not actually know, yeah. which is possible at this point. Like, I will say, he I didn't watch the whole thing, I just saw highlights. Um, I think he actually probably performed better than Sanders just because he was lying the whole time, yeah. And he actually didn't come across as like senile and fucking shit as he usually does. Yeah, they must have, like gave him a good prep ahead of time. Oh, this one over here. Um, yeah, no, I thought he did well. I don't like him. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't know, like I don't know if he necessarily performed better than Sanders. Like Sanders did call him out on his lies, which was pretty cool. He did, but I also just felt like he could have hammered it, him more, I suppose, but 
I, I just felt like Sanders was like getting away from the questions. Did you uh, drum that one? No, I did not. I will drum him now. Um, yeah, I mean that's kind of typical for for Bernie. Like they'd be like, "What do you think about Christmas trees?" They're like, well, the problem is the power rests in the one percent, and we need to do this to get. I was like, "All right, we get it, but what about Christmas trees?" Yeah, and this is from a guy who like donated to the campaign and is still planning on voting for him in the primary, assuming that New York even has a primary. Yeah. Um, so yeah, when 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 Biden is the nominee, um, which seems to be the case. Yeah, uh, it's gonna happen. It's already been decided, really. Yeah. I uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna vote for him. I. I, uh, I don't, I don't want to reward this party for its fucking failure. Um, I, I get the principle of that, but... And I'm not in a swing state. So if I was in a swing state, then I might have to think about it a lot harder. Um, but I'm not. Oh, it's just me? Yeah. Like, I live in a comfortably blue state that will almost certainly go to the Democrat. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? Well, then, you know. I just don't think... For me, that's not a chance I'm willing to take. Mm. Like, I don't like him, but I also don't like Mexican children being kept in cages or I ice raids. Yeah, I don't either, but, you know, Biden and Obama started that. <laughs> you know Yeah, but I think there would be a massive pressure for them to pull that back if, if they, you know, hopefully if they win, the, or if you win the election. Probably. My, my feeling is this, though, like, at a very basic level, I would think you don't want Trump to be elected. Well, certainly not. But I also kind of see that as an inevitability. I just... I, I guess I just disagree. Um, and that's fine. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I just would... Is this you or me? I believe this is I have, you. I have six. Do you have oh, six? Then I guess it's me. Oh, shit! Now I have oh, six. Please. I'm going to kill a wolf. I also think that these states are more swing than you think they are. Yeah. I don't think... Massachusetts is as blue as it once was. And I don't think New York is as blue as it once was. I mean, I'll certainly look at polling when we get closer. Um, Not enough Not to mention Sanders himself has said that he would support Biden if he's the nominee. Sure, but, you know, he's not my god king. Uh, no, for sure. I, I'm just saying, it, 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 like he more than anybody understands, like right. <clears throat> that the party is fucked up. That obviously he doesn't want the other guy to win. But I kind of yeah. think it's almost inevitable at this point that there is going to be a split, and where. Where that split goes is an interesting question. Uh, You're saying you think the party's going to split? Yeah, almost certainly. Um, yeah, so we get two over here. I'll grab one. You grab the other. I actually don't think that's going to happen. Well, I don't think. I don't think the party. Like, I don't think. Uh, I don't think any Democratic politicians are going to split off. Necessarily. I mean, a few might, but, you know, nobody that, you know. But uh, I feel like people that are, that have been hardcore Bernie supporters and, and leftists in general who are to the left of Sanders and view him as a, as a compromise candidate, um, I don't, after, after doing this twice, I don't think there's any going back. Um... Now the question is, 
are they going to be organized enough to all end up in the same place, and what place will that be? Um, what's this? Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. I passed. Um, uh, you or me? Uh, I have several. Uh, you then. <laughs> Actually, give me two seconds. Okay. Bar, 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 game. Oh, I'm blasted. Um. Anyway, so you're saying that? Yeah, well, like um. Will they end up uh, going to like something like the Green Party that already exists? Um, will they end up going to the Libertarian Party? Um, which, despite you know, obviously generally having been kind of right wing, you know, Vermin Supreme is a uh, is seemingly the most popular Libertarian candidate these days, um, and leftists are rather fond of him in general. Or whether a, a new party is started, but you know, we could always, always have the problem that like a bunch of new parties are started and none of them gain any actual traction. Um, but I just generally don't see. Uh, after being shit on for for basically five years, I don't see a lot of like sticking with the Democratic Party longer. Where's inner oh I Hell you get some leftists talking about um saying fuck it and trying to take over the fucking Republican Party from inside. <laughs> Interesting, I guess. Which, you know, isn't as crazy as it sounds. Um because obviously They'll just switch places like they did in Lincoln's time. Right. Um, and like, you know, you're sort of, you know, you're, you're kind of like average um, Trump voter can, you know, respond fairly well to messages of economic populism. Um, so if you frame your, your, your sales pitch well, uh, All yours, buddy. I just did. I, I got eight. How many do you have? Uh, eight. That's you. Okay. So if if you frame your sales pitch well, I, I think you know it's a possibility. Uh, obviously, there's also a lot of uh, you know, racism and other such shit amongst certain parts of the Republican base. Um, those people you're probably not going to get on board. Uh, I guess it's me, huh? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, There's a guy right behind me. Okay. But, no, it's, uh, you know, we live in interesting times. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. There's still plenty of time. A week ago, I didn't think coronavirus was a big deal, so... What's that? A week ago, I didn't think coronavirus was a big deal, so, you know... Yeah, same. Things, things can change pretty quickly. I mean... I still don't really think it's a big deal, but the world does, so... I mean, people are getting... It, it's a rat... It's a crazy infectious condition. Sure. And not enough. Yeah. Enough. As is in like, Right, but well the thing is like it's never a good idea I think to downplay something. Um, okay. Like uh, why don't I not have to Drum thing oh, maybe you got your maybe you got your last one. Not enough uh, I don't even know. Let me look at the log. What is this one called? Uh, uh, Testing the vessel. Not enough. 
What the fuck? Yeah, I guess I'm done. I'm over here killing the guy, but... Um... I'm certainly not saying that, like, you know, you go out and lick a lamppost or, you know, fucking no. a bowl or, you know, whatever. Um, but, like... There have been, uh, thus far, I believe, 3,000 deaths um, worldwide. Or oh, we still have to kill these assholes, huh? Uh, I don't know. We'll find I out. I think we still need their parts or something. We do, but we might be able to get their parts elsewhere. So it's actually oh. pointing us over this way to go kill some turtles. Um. Something like 3,000 people have died thus far, worldwide. 3,200, maybe. I think I looked it up last night. So, possibly a little more at this point, but, you know. <clears throat> um, and it started in... Actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I believe it's like 6,000 worldwide, but it was uh, 3,200 in China. So, I kind of decided to start it there, since that's where it started. Um... So 3,200 in China since, like, November, basically. Uh, kind of when it started. Um, now, of course, being an infectious disease, it has a... Um, you know, it, it spreads exponentially. Um, so, you know, you could double or triple that number, maybe, to kind of see what it might look like in a full year or something like that. Um... So let's say like 9,000 deaths in a year. Well, 9,000 deaths in five months, so 18,000, so maybe like 20,000, 25,000 in a year. That's a lot, right? That's a lot of people. Double is not exponential. No, but I mean, this is this is what it's killed entirely. It's already spread exponentially, like over five months, you know? But it's like, if it spreads to like, 2,000 people, like, yes, it might double to 4,000, but the more vectors you have, the greater the exponential growth. Sure. So it's not as simple as saying, like, you know, you have two mice in the basement, they might have, like, two or three babies. It's like, well, yeah, those two or three babies are going to have two or three babies and so on and so forth. It's, I don't know. But, um... Like, what are the... Uh, but it's already done its spread. Like, I mean, obviously it's around the world now. Um, and, like, China's a tough case because they did enact draconian fucking um, shit, like, to stop the spread. Um, well, because they have that ability with the strong central government that most countries couldn't be like, yeah, guess what? Everybody locked down. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so it's it's a tough case to draw like numbers from. I don't know. Maybe Italy would be a better example, and I haven't actually looked at the numbers for that. Um, these guys are gonna have high defense. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> Ah, die. Wow, you hurt, though. That sucked. I'm oh, shit. I guess I better use my shield. Oh, wait. We actually have to get a quest. We don't have to kill them yet. Oh, good. Oops. I mean, we are going to be killing them, but we need to get the quest first. It's clopping. Bloodbath, even though that actually is Sludbath. But, so even if you, like, really, like, blew it up, um, so, like, instead of 20,000, let's say 100,000. 100,000 deaths a year from coronavirus in China. China's one-fifth of the world's population, so now you're looking at 500,000 deaths worldwide from coronavirus. That's a lot, right? A lot of people. Yeah, I just don't think that you can really, like, just brush it off, though. I'm not brushing it off, but what, what I am saying is that on a bad year, six or 700,000 people die from influenza. Um, 
And we don't no, we don't shut down the world over that. I don't think influenza is as infectious. I think it has a higher I believe it actually has a higher mortality rate. Influenza does. Yes, uh, I believe it does. Um, uh, Lard lost his lunch. Okay, stalking the stalkers. Uh, I believe influenza yeah. is pretty infectious. The reason that um, See ya later. it probably doesn't spread See as fast now. as coronavirus is right now is because we do take some measure of precautions against it. Uh, we get our flu shots, uh, which obviously we don't have a flu shot for, doing, for coronavirus. Um, but we probably will at some point in the near future. Uh, this quest is from this board over here, I think. Wait, no, maybe not. Uh, I think you were right. Me got mm -hmm. the good stuff, man. See ya later. Uh, cannibalistic cousins. What you looking for? Oh, my quest log's full. What we going down? Let's see. PVP. What's that? Message to the Wild Hammer. Fun. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we could. I mean, some of these are complete-ish. Yeah, we don't want to drop complete ones. No, I'm saying maybe we could try to turn them in or... I don't know. Oh. Um, do you have shadow shard fragments? Yes. All right, let's drop that one. All right. Um, and then pick up this lady's quest, Cannibalistic Cousins. Yeah. Don't be shy. Right. Uh, so now we have to pick up something else. Oh, good. Alright, let's, um... Nope, can't drop that one. How about this? Yeah, okay, let's abandon the Scrimshank Redemption. What are you looking for? Victory! Alright, that should be good, because now telling us to go do stuff instead of pick up quests. Alright, now we gotta go kill some fucking stinky turtles, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Killing stinky turtles. Here's a stinky turtle. It is indeed. Oop, stop moving. You don't really do that much damage. You a wuss. Not enough rage. More rage. Yay. How am I doing on my sword skill? Still got a little ways to go. Sadly. Oh. I need a pocket mage for an intellect buff. Say what? Intellect, your weapon skills go up faster. Ah, is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, why can't I cast spells? Damn it. There's Nernik. Eat it. Eat another one. Eat, Eat my shit. Ooh, focused casting. I forget what that does. I don't know. I mean, you can't be interrupted or something like that. Ah, uh, well, whatever. I don't really care about that. Did you spend your talent point yet? Yeah. No, you didn't like that. He sure didn't. Oh, wow. Melting your stupid, ugly turtle face. 
Dumb turtle. <clears throat> Hello, brother. <laughs> I'm out of range. It's appropriate considering it's the voice of Leonardo. Damn. Not enough range. Tonight we dine on turtle soup. Hey, what happened? I can. There we go. How do you like them apples? Ow. Not ready yet. Not That's right, I fucked you up, son. Get parry. You're gonna die, ugly turtle. Pew, 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 pew. Have anything, you schmuck? I'm gonna have sex with your turtle corpse. Wow, that's kind of kind of hot, right? Kind of hot. Yeah. Come get some. I actually keep it. Well, you were keeping aggro from me for a second. Priest tank. Alright, I got my shield up. Not enough range. I need a target. You have no loot. You dumb jerk. The, what, does he have the warrant though? <laughs> I hope so. It's too far away. The loot. Need more. The warrant. Oh shit, you went in the other direction. Hmm, I guess I did. It's alright. I'll join you shortly. Okay, friendo. To kill this nasty turtle. Not enough <laughs> Man, I got some turtle meat. Was that camera? <laughs> but anyway, we both agree that the uh, Democrats are pissing away the. the they're giving a re election to one of the least popular presidents of all time. Yeah. Pretty, pretty bad. Pretty unforgivable, one might say. Yeah. And I still... I'm planning to vote for Sanders in the primary. If I have... my state decides to have a primary. Sh should, but who can say? It is certainly not a sure thing. No, it's not. Alright, let me heal you for a minute. Okay. Uh, let's see. That yeah. should help. I need to get closer. Um. I don't know, dude. But yeah, I, I, as much as I dislike Biden, I have a stronger dislike for the guy that's in there now. Sure. Um, I kind of view my primary vote as the middle finger to the establishment party, but uh, I'm not willing to make that middle finger with uh, the possibility that it could let the orange guy win. Kind of thing. Orange guy. I just can't take that chance. I'm also realizing that I picked the absolute worst time to have a child. <laughs> just kind of a drag. I guess life finds a way kind of thing. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe, maybe your child will be will have some sort of immunity. It's too far away from birth. 
Or maybe like we'll have some kind of renaissance after all this. Yeah, maybe. Kind of cool. Well, everybody's locked in their house now, so you know we're gonna have a baby boom. Oh God. Your, your child's gonna be one of the new boomers. Possibly. I don't have a target. <laughs> I need to get Hello, friend. I think it hurt in that last one. I'm gonna melt your face, cause you're a big gummy turtle and you must die. So is the snow shovel out then now? You don't want to use it anymore? Uh, I kind of have to see which one is better once I get this fucking leveled up. Missing a quest. Ah, no. I think we're missing a quest. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Uh. Oh, I think we're missing two quests. Oh, great. Well, then we can get back in town. So let's uh, let's mount up and head back to town real quick. I lost a sigh, <clears throat> but I can get it back. The other one will take a very long flight to pick up. Oh dear. So we might have to see if we're going to come back here eventually. We shouldn't just kill off the three more snapshots while we're here. Yeah, now we'll be back. Oh, is that thing flagged? No. Wow was cancelled. Oh no. Actually, Wow is one of the things that is not cancelled, but everything else is cancelled. Yeah. It's not so good. Alright. Uh, so let's drop. Um, let's see. What can we drop? Not that, not that. Our trousers! Huh? Our fucking little trousers. How you doing, man? Uh, not that. Let's drop a necklace recovery take two. Greetings, man. Pick up Gamerita. This guy told me to stay away from the voodoo? Yeah, they do that sometimes. Huh. Know what they do. Let me check something real quick. Do, 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 Stay away from the voodoo. Who you be? Yeah, I mean, it's probably not a super um, important quest, but we'll see. All right, back to killing turtles. T -t -t turtles, turtle power. Oh shit. You a big stupid turtle. Big flying turtle. Do you mind if I melt your face? I'm just gonna melt your face just a little bit. It's fine. Hey, give me your shit, you idiot. You fucking moron. I 
don't get how these things hit so hard. Hmm. I guess they're big, angry turtles. Yeah, but I thought the whole turtle thing was like, they were supposed to be tanky, but not really do that much damage. Yeah, they're also relatively high level. Fast <laughs> you. Again. He heal you. Thanks for the spirit tap, bro. The spirit tapping that ass. And the hellified gangster. Oh, we're, we're right, so we're done with the regular turtles. Now we have to look for the elite turtle, which I'm probably going to switch to my axe for. Elite turtle hacks or. Let's put my axe on. Give me that snow shovel. Tortuga. Yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of like the snowstorm from hell, isn't it? <laughs> it? Just instead of being like a weekend or a couple of days, it's basically going to be half the year. Mm -hmm. If not longer, who knows, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't think any of this was going to happen, though. And I, th I don't think I'm alone in thinking that. No. Mm -hmm. That's our That's our boy. Nice to actually be hitting him. Oh shit. Come back to you, you jerk. Not enough rage. Nice. Hooray. I got his best lure. The tomb's yeah. best lore. Are we leaving? Current guide. Do, do, do. Let's see. Let's go back to town and turn these quests in, even though that's not what it's telling us to do. Just All right. Because we might need to pick up more quests. No. I don't think either one of these quests has a follow-up stuff. So it's just two empty spaces in our quest log. Okay. Which is always a plus. We are always in need of more quest slots. True. I don't know why there's a limit, honestly. It's kind of dumb. It's no limit in fucking uh, Skyrim, is there? No. Just saying. I think there is a limit in, like, retail, but it's, like... It's high enough that it's... I actually think it's only 25, but I think, like, like a lot of, like, um... Like, a lot of, like, daily quests and, like, story quests don't count towards the limit or something. Huh. So, like, you basically never run out of... You, your quest log's never full in retail. It just never happens. Hmm. Yeah, it's part of the classic challenge. Yeah. To be as inconvenient as possible. That's why we're here, man. Yep. We got the good stuff, man. Be closer. I'm right on top of the motherfucker. Stay away from the Oh, give me that fishing rod. Now, if you I ever guess I should hang on to that. If you ever plan on fishing, this is the best fishing rod you can get. So uh, I, I guess I should put it in the bank then. Yeah. I mean, there might, right. there might be one that's better, but that's really hard to get or whatever. So. But that's Are you cool. flying somewhere? No, I'm just walking out of town. Oh. Uh, actually, let me... Let's empty our bags. All right, let's go sell some greys. I think we're going to be out in a boat for a while. You're a vendor. You there. Blacksmithing supplies. I would like to buy from you. I'm going to hang on to the fishing pole. All right. Dump speckled shell fragment, dump delicate feather, dump wicked claw, dump trophy claw, dump fiber and plume, dump all these dumb animal parts, basically. Yeah, out of here, dump egg, don't care. Gotta keep my first mate hat, though. Spirits be with you. Yeah, all these clams. 
Colonel Manny. Yeah, I should do that, huh? Hello, man. Stay away from the voodoo. Oh boy, I got zesty clam meat. Mm -hmm. It's zesty. Do you have any need for that or no? I assume not at this point. Uh, that's a good question. Do I have any need for zesty clam meat? I don't think so. If you do, it's yours. <laughs> if not, I'll just sell it to this jerk wagon. Um, I'll take it. I actually don't have any recipes that use it, so that might mean that I Lita. need to find a recipe that does that might be. Actually, while we're here, I'll check the... Uh, sometimes they have cooking recipes at the inn or whatever. Let's see what this jerk knows. Where can I buy water from? Or the inn, I guess, right? Yeah, possibly the inn. Let's find out. Uh, is this the inn? Oops. No, I don't want to make this my home. Uh, let me check if goes hard. Yeah, he's got water. He does not have any Yay! He does not have any cooking recipes. Motherfuck! Uh, this fishing guy might. Sometimes they have it. Hey, fisherman, what, what you got in your mind? mind? What you want? Careful, man. That's what they say. Stay Let's away from them. Jack shit. All right, uh, I guess we can head out of here now. The agent vendor. Oh wait, cooking supplier. That's probably the person I'm talking to. Yeah. What have you got? Smoked sage fish and sage fish delight. I don't know. All right. But now you have a fancy fishing pole if you want to go fishing for that shit. I do have a fancy fishing pole. Let's put the sword back on for now. Oh no. Alright, so we need to kill wolves, I guess, when we get up to the top of the cliffs. And we're also looking for slag trees lost tools. Sure. You know, as one does. The bitch. What up, how? Yeah, what's up, how? Lots of people around here, huh? Yeah, they're fucking filthy allies. Yeah. Yuck. Gross. Yeah, I guess in like some good news, like seemingly my uh, general manager is like panicking and basically giving me all of her shifts this week, so I'm like, cool. I get to work and make money. Well, it's good because, as you mentioned before, your lady friend is not able to work, so at least that way mm -hmm. you kind of pick up some of the slack, right? Yep. Yeah, I mean, hopefully she gets unemployment, but we'll see how that goes. And then, uh, yeah. you know, whatever, whatever stimulus package uh, ends up happening, if any. If any. I just can't see it, man. I can't see it. Mm. I can't see them willingly giving money to the people. Mm. Unless it's just to, to try to buy an election, which would actually probably work. Yeah. Hello, friends. Hi, boys. You calling here again? Why don't you come down here so I can beat you in the ride? You calling here again? Hey, boys. I'm thinking these guys are kind of too high to try to level my weapons on, so I'll go back to the axe for now. Run across some lower level enemies. Lerubes. You know, like guys that are green to us, I can probably level on pretty easily, but these guys are like yellow, so that's no good. Sorry, puppers. Oh. Red wolf meat. Delicious. I do I get plenty? I'm gonna have plenty. I do not need red wolf meat. 
I do need tender root beer. Or the tenderest of wolf cuts. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, <laughs> sounds about right. It sounded cool in my head. I don't know. All right, so we're looking for like a little fucking metal box looking thing. Hmm. And since this is classic, it's not going to like glow or sparkle or anything. Let's look around for it. And I don't even know if we can both loot it, so that'll be fun too. Oi. Oi. I got some tenderonies. I'll give those to you later. Oh, sweet. Trolls? What the fuck is this? Yeah, we need to go kill some trolls as well. But Ooh, is that it? No, it's not. I'm just it looking through this sense. item while we're here, and then we'll move along because it can, <laughs> it can <laughs> like, spawn <laughs> like, a lot of different places. And we still need to kill wolves. And I just heard it. Hello, friend. I think you're going, champ. But I need his fucking doom. You're dope. Die! Meet your doom, fool. There's another one. What are these? Yeah, they're Not stalkers. Oh, right. Not enough rage. Yeah, he's all like, But we were meant to be together! <laughs> Just because I I'm a you home from work! <laughs> yeah, right. You smiled at me once. Mm -hmm. Now you owe me sex. I smiled at you. Now show me feet pics. Listen, those guys who thought the wiping their ass was gay, they're ahead of the game now. Right? They don't have to worry about TP. Yeah. <clears throat> no? I mean, you know. Not wiping your ass to own coronavirus. Show sure us. Going. He was trying to fucking get out of town, man. I hope it. The one. One bitch. Nobody's impressed with you. Nobody's impressed by your bullshit. I'm gonna kill you quickly and let your body fester in the open sun. Damn, it's a lot. Where are you going, bitch? Are you trying to fucking peace out on me? Methinks not. We don't do that good. Not enough rage. More rage. Not enough rage. Slam dunking these hoes. Yeah. Alright, so let's head in here. Haha! -ha. Jump, my friend. I jump you! There's actually tools over there next to the guy you're killing. So you grab him when uh, you're going to jump him. Sucker. Let's see if I can also grab him, but I don't think I can. Damn. Doesn't look like it. We get plenty more dudes to kill around here, so. Oh, I just walked through the fire like an asshole. Yay! Fire, bad. Whoa, woman, die! Oh, are you killing somebody? Oh. What's up, light? Ooh. Ooh, uh. I do love a crit wand strike. That shit's funny. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go over. They've got like a couple of these little bunkers. So I'm gonna go over to the next one to look for tools there. Keep your eye out for a somewhat rare razor beak Skylord. Mm. Okay. Range. Oh, hello. Not enough range. Need more range. Oh, get out of here, you. Where he was going off to in such a fucking huff. Mm. No, I'll put the target in front of me. Uh, 
die. Where are you going? I just want to be friends with you. Right? Bitch, I'm not even gonna bother with the fucking second mind flay. <laughs> just stupid. Good now. Oh shit, I forgot to loot this guy. Oh, here's a Sky Lord. Ooh. I guess we should kill that thing. Wait, do you want to buff you up or something? Yeah, whatever. He's just a regular enemy. It's not like a leader. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, not no. Sure. What, are we, what are we getting him for? I don't know. I have a friend I'm going to take care of, I guess. It's annoying the fucking Jesus out of me. Me back oh. like a foot. Oh. I got a Skylord plume. Yeah, same. I don't know what that. Oh, apparently that's a quest. The fallen, I guess. Sure. All right. Great. Let's head inside the bunker. Take on the ad. Okay. Girl, are you nuts? Let me stun that hoe. Dude. I am dunking this hoe. Clowning on her. No. She's a trick. Oh shit, you are like dying, bro. Yeah, I'm good. Let me uh, heal you then. Ooh, we got kinds of shit here. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna head over to Skull Rock to get some to get a little skull. Ooh! I healed it, you. Hello, savage owl beast. Let's be friendly. I feel Just like kidding. Cool. Need him or something, so I'm just gonna kill him anyway. What? Resist? What are you thinking? Resist. Yeah, we definitely need to kill yeah. him, I guess. Yeah, he's got all kinds of shit we need. And we just need, we have a kill count for them. Damn. That big crit in your face, did you, bro? Uh, I'm taking a big crit on you. <laughs> big crit right on your face. Big natty crits. Uh, I don't know if we need to kill these oozes, but we're probably gonna have to, anyways. I'm out of range. Secret of the ooze. Okay. Great vanilla ice soundtrack. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go, go! Really amazing lyrics, when you think about it. <laughs> Broken weapon. I need to sure. Sure, buddy, whatever you say. Oh, wow, 7 or 1. Nice. Big nineties. Naturales grandes! Spirit time out of the day, it's on the hell of a gangster lean, getting fucking on my mind like an old batch of collard greens. Green sludge. Hello, I have right that now. also. I like how it has a skull face. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Did it just absorb a skull and decide to put it in its face area? Like all of them did that though? Yeah. You know? Weird. It is a bit odd, yes. I'm in combat. What am I in combat with? This green sludge. I don't think I was. I was just last in combat with something. I'm killing you. It is you who will be dying now. 
Alright. Right, let's see. Any tools up here? This does. <laughs> Good call. Uh, yeah. no, I don't think so. I'm gonna climb down the mountain the creative way. And then there's just slimes all over the place, huh? Mm. Must be at Nickelodeon Studios. Mm. Don't encourage your mother. Good point. Hello, little friend. Not enough rage. Evade. Yeah. Not ready yet. You might not get off the rock. Yeah, that's fucking bonk, though. Bunch of bullshit. Slimy Icker. Oh, look, it's your clone. Mm. Hello, friend. Oh, why did I go down here? Did you jump? I kind of fell. Ooh, Mithril. Oh, no. You fell right on some Mithril. Yeah. I'll take that. Just helping this asshole out for no particular reason. Yeah. Oh, he's dying. I got some delicious meat thrill. Um, yeah, I don't know if we actually need to be in here or not. So let's just get out. Here. I don't, the tools might spawn in here, but I hope not because uh, they want to fight for all these fucking things. Now, these things suck. You a nasty fucking slimy motherfucker. Let's, actually, let's look it up. Slag tree. Lost tools. Okay. Where do they spawn? Up the river. This way they can spawn. Oh yeah, I can see a bunker over there. I see it. I'm clopping. Mm, me too. Clopping all over your face. I'm in the hinterlands. Yeah. Skyrim this shit, bro. Oh boy, I couldn't though. <sighs> you go the long way around. Oh shit, I got your friend, <laughs> your yeah. friend inside. Rage. Fuck you guy. You got two friends inside. It's too far away. I can kill you. I can kill all of you. Oh no! Oh shit, you're dying, bro. Heal himself. Oh no, I got another ad, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. Yeah. Yep, I'm dead. Hey, get over here. Hey. Ooh. You're not gonna die. You're gonna die? Maybe, but you're not. Oh, I don't think I am. Oh, you can't do that. Ready. Nice. Yeah, fuck you, bros. Alright, let's try not to pull the entire fucking place again. Ooh, boy. I'm gonna eat some victuals. Yeah, actually it's a good time to do some buffing. Tasty victuals. 
Yeah. Boy, that was uh, interesting, let's say. Wouldn't be a classic run without, you know, some some fear of death. Yeah. That's why we're here. Mmm, just sipping on some scissor. <laughs> that good purple drink. Yep. Actually, have actual honest to God sunny delight in my refrigerator right now. Shit. We just saw it at the uh, supermarket the other day, and we were like, well, world's ending, might as well get some sunny day. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, so we were... We were watching a uh, a '90s commercial compilation yesterday, as one does. As one does. We watch a lot of old commercial compilations. We're strange people. Um, I saw the Murdoch commercial. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's splash. Murdoch, uh -huh. my fucking dude. All right, here we go. Here's them tools. And right after that was a My Pal Two commercial. Man, all the fucking grades, huh? Yep. These casters fucking hit like the top. Bricks, give me these tools. The chest here, shall we open it? I will open it and I will let you know what is inside if there's anything good. Okay. Mm, no. Okay. There's gold that we can share, and there's a superior health potion in there if you want it. Sure, I suppose. Nothing else of worth. Alright. Um, so now we have to kill owl beasts. Um, wolves. I need to get and yeah, closer. Whatever. Wolves. Murdoch. Murdoch. Let's splash. You definitely don't want to kill Murdoch. No. no. Product's cool. Oh, help. Right. It's too Whatever you say. Murdoch. Not enough rage. Man, I have not thought about Murdoch in quite some time. Yeah, I mean, you're welcome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm out of rage. Murdoch is pretty cool. Have you thought about my pal too recently? Uh, yes. Okay. Not enough. Just because I feel like you and I say pretty nifty butt on pushing, like fairly often. Mm -hmm. That's largely due to the fact that we have never, you know, gotten over the '90s. We have never grown up. No. That's fine. I'm avoiding it. Yeah. Oh, hello, friends. All right, I'll. Whoops. Oh, I'm pulling too much aggro. I'll take this one. Not enough. Are you mad because I have a shield up now? Are you mad, bro? Owl beast, bro. This one's not even the kind we need to kill. Oh, really? Primitive owl beast. Oh, oh shit, you just got attacked by a razor big dick lord. I thought they were rare or some shit. Oh shit, I just critted the fuck out of you, guy. Fuck you. Yoink. Oh yeah, we fucking smoked him, though. Yeah, we sure did. Right, I thought I saw something we needed over here, but I don't know where it went. Hi. Hello, brother. How does a wolf parry me? That's a great question. Those fucking teeth. Thank you for the spirit, I have dumb wolf. You're dead. To the tune of DuckTales, huh? Oh, yeah. Weird. But, yeah. Here's another invisible. 
Hello, Wolfie. Get a drop in. Okay. Alright, so we still need like six more of those doors. And like 13 more of the non invisible ones. Uh, 17 more of these owl beasts. Oh lord. Uh, a bunch more trolls too. So we need to kill 30 of the scalpers. We've got 11 of them so far. That late game grind. Yeah. I mean, this is a good quest, like a good uh, questing zone because you have to kill so much shit. So lots and of experience. True. Between the quests themselves and the kills. Yeah, I'm probably making a good amount of money off all the dumb shit that they drop. Yeah, probably. Okay, here's another savage boy. Savage War Boy. Closer. Let's see if I can get him without the slime, though. Come here, buddy. <laughs> My giant fucking cat. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Come at me, bro. Goodbye, old man. I don't believe we need to kill the slimes, so we're just going to avoid them. We've got plenty of other things we need to kill. You sure fucking do. Let's kill some more of these trolls while we're here. What up, bitch? Bitch, you ugly. Blast! I'm blasting. Me too. Yeah, that's right, you did. Oh. Should probably go back to Shadow Boy form. Do some damage. I love when they get stunned. It's yeah, great. It's pretty cool. Funny. It is fun. You just stand there like swaying around like you're drunk. Oh, I got the long distance spirit tap. <laughs> it's too far away. Feels good. Feels good, man. Blast the mojo. That's troll come for sure. Oh yeah. Not like your car noir. <laughs> what are the two? Yeah, man. We be going down to the club tonight. Yeah, man. I buy my sense at fucking. Uh, wow, <sighs> weird. So, like, I was trying to think of a pharmacy. Right. And the first one I thought was Osco Drug. <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore, yep. as far as I know. No, it does not. And the, and the second one I thought of was Dwayne Reed. Like, you don't have them in Massachusetts. I am familiar with them, but no, we don't have them here. Man, I just, I just don't know, man. Walgreens. CVS, Walgreens, I guess. Right? Is there a CVS in New York? Yeah. Okay. I know they are based out of Woonsocket, Rhode Island. You sure are, buddy. I think that's a company we both work for. Yeah. Photo lab manager. Probably a position that no longer exists. Right. I did have to go down to the corporate offices in Woonsocket. Huh? <laughs> like a training thing Not of some sort. Of Consumer value stores. Oh, is that what that stands for? Not enough rage. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's funny. That <laughs> is pretty funny. Get it. Let's mount up and go around this way. When I first moved to New York, there were not very many CVSs. Hmm. Now they're everywhere. Okay. Isn't, like, Dwayne Reed, like, a fucking subsidiary of something else? Dwayne Reed and Walgreens are the same thing. Okay. I think Walgreens bought me. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. But Dwayne Reed sucks. 
Oh, I made a friend. Are there also Walgreens down there? Yes. Okay. There's no Dwayne Reeds outside of New York City, as far as I know. I got you. But we do have Walgreens out where I live. But I like CBS more. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I pretty much, like, if I ever have to have a prescription called in or whatever, I go to CVS, I, I don't go to Walgreens. Yeah. What else do we have here? Uh, we also we have... actually still have some mom and pop grocery uh, pharmacies here, believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, there are a few here and there around here. Not super common, but... Uh, we also have Rite Aid. Yeah. So, a lot of those have been going out of business, so there's very few of them left. Oh, really? Yeah, the one in Davis is closed. There was one like on Somerville Ave. I'm not sure if that was still open. But I have a feeling that like, they're just kind of going the way of the dinosaur. Yeah. I believe they mostly took over old Osco locations. They totally did. Um, the one at Davis was definitely an Osco. Yeah. The one at Brighton, too, on um, Western Ave. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we actually saw like an Osco commercial in one of the old commercial things, and she was like, what the fuck's Osco? <laughs> and you're like, exactly. Right. Like, it's Frisco's where I come from. Yeah. Nobody called it that except for me and you, so, you know, whatever. We're done. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Spent a lot of time with that Oscos. Sure did. Spent a lot of time with those payphones. Yeah. <laughs> we, we did that. We surely did. A couple of cool dudes. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm out of range. Man, we're done. <laughs> Savage Owl Beast. So savage. The macho owl beast Randy Savage. Oh shit, that'd be cool. Yeah. I see a thing and I kill it. I see a red sash, I kill a man wearing it. Definitely had a red sash on. All right, here's another beast. Another owl beast. It's too far away. Oh, is he related to Altered Beast? Yeah, probably. It's a good game. It is not a good game. Not enough rage. Oh, I love it when my dog hurts you. It's really funny. Oh, you're dead. Motherfucker. I need to get closer. <laughs> stunner. Not enough rage. Old, old stunner? Not enough rage. Of that. Core blimey. Give me your things. It's too far. Haha. Uh -huh. I like it when they get all confused. It's funny. Then should I attack? I don't know. It's pretty committed to you. Yeah, he turned to you for a second and then he just stuck on me. He thought about it. He was like, oh, big guy's easier to hit. He's right here. He's got a big snow shovel aimed at my face. <laughs> yeah. You should stay over there, then. That's what we want. Get the big one in the plate. Yeah. Leave the squishy dead guy alone. Yeah. He's already dead. You don't have to fight him. Yeah, right? That's how this works, right? What do you hope to gain? Listen, are you not undead now? I mean, you know, you've died like 20 times. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how that works. I think you're going. Pissed. You don't want to hang out anymore? You don't want to be friends with me? Oh, 
don't know what you're fucking No football anymore, so. Oh, that guy's most assuredly dead. Yeah, that's probably true. That's definitely true. I don't know. Who knows? Not enough rage. If you told me then that, that my grandmother would still be alive in the year 2020, I would have been like, yeah, right. Mm, that's a good point. She just turned 94 last Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's fucking crazy. We were watching TV the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, the last time I was there and the Queen of England was on TV. Mm hmm. And my nana goes, oh, I'm of the same age as her. <laughs> and I was like, wow. That's, it's true. Mm -hmm. Fuck, you guys are And who would have thought that she'd still be around? Right? Certainly not Charles. No. I mean, that cocksucker's got to be close. I don't know. He's probably in the 70s now, right? Charles. I would imagine. I have no idea how old he is, but yeah, he's going to be somewhere in that, that neck of the woods. Jeez. The man who will never be king. Yep. Yeah. Spells hurt, huh? Happen? Yeah, spells hurt. Oh yeah. Oh wow, yeah, they do. Oh, they're both dead now. Sure. Ooh, mage weave. Mage good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry, buddy. Hey, he what? Hey, old man, where'd you go? You know what I need to drink? I reckon. Drink. Yeah, actually, I could probably get, get through a couple more fights. You gonna drink some of that purple stuff, or perhaps Sunny D? Definitely could drink some Sunny D. Do not have any purple stuff, sadly. Yeah, that is that is sad. Hey, hello, pumper. Hello, papas. The last one the invisible will stay in each. There's this, um, I don't remember his name, but there's like this Japanese pro wrestler named, I think his last name is Ishii. Okay. I'm having a hard time remembering. But in Japan, you know, like they used, they like to use like English words because they think it's cool. Sure. So they named the guy. His nickname is the Stone Pitbull. Okay. And all the American fans refer to him as Stone Pupper. Which <laughs> <laughs> is fucking hilarious. To me. Stone Pupper. Not enough rage. Where you going? Relax. So uptight. I'm just trying to kill you and your friends. Like a bat. Do some you bat salt. Want some fool? You want a piece of this? I think fucking not. You're so bad. I'm gonna kill you so bad. I kill you so bad. I'm gonna color me bad. I wanna sex you up. Where you I going? I too want to sex you up. Oh, nah, he. Yeah, the plastic freeze. mojo. Slap on troll the troll gum. Da 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 troll gum. Stone poppers. Ah, zap your face. Do you think Drop people in the? Uh, do you think people in Azeroth like grind up torn horns as an aphrodisiac? Probably Kodo horn. Hmm. Cause they're like rhinos. Right. Or like those thunder lizard things. Stone puppers. Not enough rage. Where you going? Time to go straight to hell. Actually, sir. I'm gonna eat something before we go in. Oh, we still do need soothsayers, apparently. Oh, yeah. 
Need five more of them and four more of the scalpers. I'll throw a bomb at them. That'll be funny. That will be funny. Treasure. Give me the treasure. Uh, hoard supply crates. Is that a quest? Uh, Ranger Woman's Honey Riffle. What quest is that? Standard. A sticky situation. Do we have that quest? Yeah, I guess we do. Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> Let's go back this way. Friend of friends. Show me your batch. Someone wants to kill more scalpers than soothsayers? Yeah, we gotta kill lots of stuff. That's true. But right now it's telling me to go. We don't need to kill this guy though, so I'm just gonna keep running. Right now, it's telling me to go to Agawatha to look for horde supply crates. Huh. Fuck you, slimes. I don't need your bullshit today. Hmm. That's a horde supply crate. I guess I do need your bullshit. Oh no, this seems like a bad idea. Kill them all! Let the Earth Mother sort them out. Scum covered bag? Sweet. The fuck is that? It's a bag covered in scum! What? Where is it? Open the bag. Oh, it just had money in it, I guess. Sweet. I got Here. some fine aged cheddar. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that shit, would you? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Hmm. It's that slime's from under cheese. Yuck! Mmm, <laughs> delicious from under cheese. Why am I not on my mount, I wonder? That is a question. I will wait for you, friend of friends. Skyrim... I like how Skyrim's a verb. Yeah. I must have a lot of gold by now. Mm, 65. Pretty fancy. Right, here's a crate. Come get this one. I got the last one. All right, that's why we stopped and got mauled by all those slimes. <laughs> yep. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. You're cool. Thanks. All right, where are we going? Uh, inside this little complex. Looking for more damn boxes. Oh, shit, that's over there. What is that? I'm a rogue. It'd be a shame if you died. Sure would. All right, there we go. Here's a box. 
A little bit. Sipping on honey, we're both made for it. Not enough rage. Oh, you're angry, huh? You're so angry. I guess you're angry a, penis. A slimy piece of crap, I'd be mad too. Alright. Huh? Oh, hi. Friends, huh? Oh, hello. Good to see you, friendzos, huh? From behind. Damn. They're kind of tanky. Not enough. It's too far away. Yoink. That's a good point. Didn't like that, did you? Ooh, I got a scum covered bag. Open it. See if there's any goodies inside. Yeah, had some healing potions and some monies. No cheese, huh? No cheese. Right, where the hell are all these boxes? I don't know, friendo. I don't see them. Maclaw! Okay. Tell me more about Maclaw. Is that like a know. white claw? Yeah, no law, but... Just claws. No law, but martial law. It's coming. <laughs> coming. I mean, you may not be wrong. It's coming, dude. I wish it was a little lighter here so I could see these boxes a little better. And I'm always looking to see some fucking box, dude. Not oh, for yeah, but, uh, that's oh, there's one, kid. There we go. Grab it. All right. Oh, wow, we need ten bottles of this crap. Well, I yeah, guess sometimes you get multiples, so. Okay. Oh, boy, this is so interesting. I'll take the uh, frame. Guys are tough. I don't get why, but yeah, they're just slime. How do you kill slime? I'm just gonna live and let live with slime. All right. I don't see anything inside the tent. Let's try this one. Anybody hope? Nope. Oh, just this guy, I guess. It's creeping outside the window. He's about to get caught though, because his beeper keeps beeping. Yeah, fuck him! Now it's time to make my impression fit, so sit back, relax, and strap on your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. Uh. This, this one? Yeah. This sucks. Yeah, there's one. Hit him! It's beneath the trees where nobody sees. Shit. Hooray! Ow. I got some honey drank. Is this mead? Step on old scissor. I'm killing you. Yay, spirit death. Give me your dumb shit. Oh, I should be in Shadow Boy form. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, he just spawned, but I moved out of his spawn zone so he didn't aggro me. <laughs> Pretty cool. He said he liked my story, and he called me bro. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. You know? All right, I don't see anything over there. Let's try over here. Hot dudes and heat. Oh, shit. Tell me more about hot dudes and heat. Film I'm working on. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? Is it, uh... Is it 
is it like an art house film or something? Uh, no, it's a gay porn. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. All right. Well, not, not trying to reinvent the wheel, my friend. Shit, you've made some friends over here. Right. Yeah, it's popular. They must have heard about the gay porn I'm making. Yeah. No, you didn't like that. Seven twenty-six. Fuck you, dude. Right out. What do you know about gay dragon porn? Is that the kind of movie you're making? Hot dragon no. dudes in heat? I mean, that's a good idea, though. What am I, just pulling everything in sight? Apparently. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Add it with you people. Add it up to here with the likes of you people. Drink after this. Blowing all my mana load up everywhere. That's hot. How to shoot web. I will keep looking for boxes while you're drinking. And I'll ask if if the box has been washed. Yeah. I made a friend. You're a friendly sort of guy. Not enough rage. Need more rage. Everybody just wants to give me hugs. You can find me at the club, a bottle full of both. Um, I got what you need. Come give me a hug. I'm into having sex. I'm not into making love. Come give me a hug. You finna get rubbed. Mm, really more about that. It. Really more about that Christian side hug. More about the hover hand. It's <laughs> yeah, a good one. Yeah. Let's see any boxes out here. Seeing any boxes? Let me Skyrim up here. Oh shit! You got a friend behind you. I sure do. You got a couple of friends actually. Hello, friends. How do you absorb everything? Oh god, we got a lot of friends. What the fuck? Situation. Yeah. I feel like I'm on the Jersey Shore. Yeah. Eating big chubbles. What are we doing? Why? Uh, Alright, well, I guess you're already pretty much healed. Never mind. Yeah. Guess I'll go back into Shadow Lord. Edge Lord. All right, well, looks like I have to fight this jerk. Robe of the Void. Roar. You're dead at. You won the game. Roll need. <laughs> I need you to fuck off, sir. I'm a very busy toy. Oh, you got some friends. Alright, hey, alright, fine, you fucker. You wanna fucking tangle? Hit you. It takes two to tango. I don't know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. stunned you, idiot! Oh, the slimy skull thing, moron! You moron! You moron! Oh, God, you guys are just everywhere. I hate you. 
Yeah, they suck. Can't move in here without fucking pulling some fucking slime all over you. Some more slime. This leather. Oh, you should probably take it for DEing purposes. Oh, I'm greeting it. Ah. Uh, I'll give it to you at some point. Can I do a bio break? Sure. Uh, but I wouldn't stop in here. Let's. No, let's move somewhere safe. Yeah, let's go like outside here. Oh, good. I've already gotten to a fight. You dropped it. Motherfucker. Help a brother out. Let's go down here by the water. Have a nice little picnic. <sighs> Seems okay, I guess. Yeah. I'm also going to take a bio break, so let's both take a bio break. BRB, bro. Yeah, we'll be back soon. I have returned. Let's see, what's my Twitch notification? I have a new friend re friend request. I don't know who you are, but sure. I think I hear the return of Mr. Soda Pop. Dripping. Oh, is it about to be wet? Did you just find a crate right there? Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I'm pretty cool like that. I'm cool like that. 
I'm chill like that. That's right. God, so many of them, they're everywhere. Ooh, I almost ran into one. I have a nice bird's eye view. Oh, here's a crate. Oh, Team has a pretty big aggro range, too. Just mm. killing this asshole. I'm chill like that. Oh, I see. Give me a ripple. Give me that ripple. I'm up to five. Oh, nice for me. Yay. Ooh, me thrill. Me thrill. Sipping on mithril. I don't know how that works, but <clears throat> so you know, I always called it mithril until Lord of the Rings movies came out. Same. I wonder how many other people did the same. Probably most. You know? Yeah, probably. All right. Let's see here. Okay, here's a crate. Ow! Well, you can get it while I fight this asshole, I guess. Yeah, why don't you get it? Because I got, like, two in a row. More rage. Not enough. Oh, he's really okay. sticking with me, huh? Not enough rage. Need more rage. Oh, looks like I made it. Christ! Definitely not the best. Let's do motherfucking Azerathino. What? Nothing. Worry. Hmm. I like walking up on this wall. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. I'm sure I can't shoot this guy from here, but it'd be funny if I could. <laughs> Yeah, he's evading. All right, enough. All right, let's see. Azeroth Pino. Let me see my pearlescent ooze. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this guy. Just keep running. Yeah, fuck you, pal. I don't. I don't like this place. Let's go back to the cave. I feel like there's only like three spawns of this thing here. Fuck off. Even though we'll have to fight the same guys at the cave, at least I think there are more spawns there. Let's fight the dudes who uh have those cool like uh three banana hammocks. Well guys. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna kill some more of these trolls on the way. Filthy trolls! Only good troll is a dead one. There's a lot. Are you crazy? You crazy guy. Oh, I've had it with you. Right, bitch. Get one more suit there. Three more of these scalper jerks. Imp. One behind you. You're the one. Not enough rage. Need more rage. Mm, give me a 
your bottled troll sweat. Love it so much. Not enough rage. How do you feel about troll sweat? Girl, I'm gonna make you troll sweat. <laughs> Sweat till you can't roll sweat no more. And if you cry out, I'm gonna zap your fucking face. Yeah. That's pretty much the end of my story. It's a good story. Hello, slime. Rage. Not enough rage. These guys must be resistant against shadow damage or something. Mm. I feel like I never do like against these slimes. I don't do wonderful damage. That's possible. Skyrim charge up the hill. Well, I fell down the hill and I can't get back up it because I can't Skyrim up it. So... Not enough I fall and I can't get up. Essentially, yes. Not enough yeah, these guys are kind of tanky. Yeah, they are. Wow, you're hurting, dude. Oh, I got a cool, weird headache feeling right now. I don't know, did you eat ice cream? No. Hold on a second. Okay. And if you cry out... I'm gonna raw dog your mom. What? I meant dad. More rage. What, what, what? I meant dad! Oh, that's better. Yeah. Oh, I'm so annoyed with these assholes. That's understandable. There's so many of them. Thrill! see a crate up there, so let's go this way. Me thrill! I live for me thrill! We're kind of in a mine right now. They call it a mine. A mine! Like that? Yeah, pretty much like that. Hey guys! Why are there so many of you? Stop like dodging me or whatever, bro. I don't appreciate it. It's just mad annoying, doggers. Dodge this. Not enough free. How many uh, drinks do you have? Nineteen? Oh no. Sorry. No, like six. This one heavy. Not enough rage. Not enough rage. Grab that. I'm gonna... Just give me the rest of them. I don't want to do this quest anymore. <laughs> right. And then I got three, so I'm up to nine. One more crate will do you, and possibly do me as well. I'll do. What? Huh? What? what? Nothing. Ooh, I got an aquamarine in my bag. Oh boy, who cares? I'm gonna jump down. Okay. 
You, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, look, me throw for you up there if we kill that guy. I'm going for this crate, though. That's right, you fucking slimy punk. Who fucking hot on? Who fucking hot on? Wow, I have a lot of crap in my inventory. Big mood. Not enough rage. Big dude. Something more of a big dude. Mm, he's big. Is he red, red, red? Cause he's big, 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 and his cock's red. Son red. of a bitch. Only one. I know there's one in here, so I'm gonna go this way. Kill probably three or four dudes to get to it. So sure. Not enough rage. Need more. These old fucking assholes, buddy. Not enough rage. Bounce, bounce. <laughs> what is broken weapon anyway? No, there's a crate like there. Two of them in here. What's that? That's sweet. There's actually two crates in here, so we'll be done after this. Not enough rage. Hey. The slime nursery. Your mother's womb. Your mother's womb, kid. I don't want there to be any mistakes, by the way. I'm done with this stupid quest now. Two more of these jerks and I'll be too. Not enough rage. I hate you. I hate you so much. Not ready yet. Your ability is ready yet. Come get them. I will get to get to the bags or when the other jerks up there. You never know until you try, Bubby. Ah, uh, yeah, I got an epic mount for ya. Hmm. Oh, I don't know, you might be a... Uh... Oh, really? You did it? Yoink. Ooh, Stop baby. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh boy, a ghost mushroom. A little one. I'll, I'll take the little one. The real motherfucker, though. Girl, I'm gonna make oh, he's real. Ready yet? Not ready. Kill this jerk. Thank you, motherfucker. Why they're so good? Give me the meat thrill. Oh, 
friend. Almost out of this cave of horrors. Rage. Oh, 700. Get that right. God, these guys suck. They should do, friend. We are murder hobos. We kill a lot of people. <laughs> That's the fucking truth. I need a target. So let me mount. Okay. There we go. Is that your pickup line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey yo, female, let me mount. I was nice to you. Now let me mount. Show feet. Mm -hmm. Open Bob. Open Bob. Uh, did we kill all these things that we need to? No, we need one more soothsayer. So let's grab that over here. That didn't work. Oh, is that? Fucking jerk. Not enough rage. No fucking hat on. You fucking kids. You fucking kids. Yeah. Pull this jerk outside, so hopefully we only have to fight one. I'm running. Mm, let's try running this way. Looks like he's made a friend. You've made friends with him. That's fine, I'll kill him. He might kill him before <sighs> I even get back. Or not. No, he healed himself like a little prick. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. You fucking prick! Well, it's the last one, though, at least. Yay! You fucking prick. You fucking prick, Anjo. You fucking prick, Anjo. We need to kill these howlers, so let's do that. What's up, howler? What's up, howler? A fucking prick, Anjo! Uh, A fucking prick, Anjo! Your fucking prick, Anjo! Oh, I'm busting it. Busting makes me feel good. Thanks for your lack of loot. Busting, 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 busting makes me feel good. Feel good. Thanks for the pizza, Mickey. Hey, we're the one chance. That happened. That happened. That was great. <laughs> Imagine being an, being an adult and taunting a child. No, I really can't. I'm sorry to say. Uh, you really own that little kid, sir. Hey, <laughs> yep. Way to go, bro. <laughs> you did it. That's great. Thanks for the pizzas, Mickey! They were delicious! Also, like, you know, remembering what he looked like, too, and his, like, transition specs and fucking... He was wearing like a like a tan or like orange fucking sports but sports coat. I don't remember. I just remember him being a fucking smooth character like Joe Camel. All right. Let's see, these guys are all primitive owl beasts. We don't need them. 
Bustin makes me, bustin makes me feel good, feel good. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, we hide and seek as long as we please. I need more of these owl guys? Not these ones. These are the primitives. You built a friend. I sure did. We don't need these wolves either, because these are regular wolves, not howlers. Ooh, I've made lots of wolves. Hmm. You lost a few of them. Don't worry, I'll make more. Fuck off. Y'all. <laughs> far as we can go without running into a bunch of other shit, so we might have to fight these guys. Oh, good. Oh, hello. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh boy. boy. I think it's time yeah. to go. Go this way. Okay, let me uh, do this. You feared them? Yeah. I actually oh. have a fear thing that I can do. Oh. I don't think it's as quite as useful as yours in general, but... Check this out. Let's run for the mountains up here. Fuck you guys. Fuck all y'all. Fear them all. Let the Earth Mother allay their fears. I don't know. Yeah. Something. Mm. Nothing. Hell, I don't know. Tell them bedtime. <laughs> yeah, this seems like a, a safe place. To take our shirts off and kiss? Huh? Well, what's <laughs> going on over here? Would... I'm just kidding, unless you want to do it. What is this? Uh, they caught up to me, I guess. Christ. Fuck off! <laughs> we can't really go any further, though, so we're kind of going to have to fight them. I'm just curious as to what this fucking building is here. I... Would you like to purchase something? Well, there's, there's a no guy that we can die. He's all of engineering supplies, too. We should use him. Yeah, we should kill this wolf. I'm sick of you fuckers. Why am I not hurting you? Yeah, I'm confused. Was here. What the fuck is this guy? I don't know, but I'm buying this mechanical dragonling thing. That's for goddamn sure. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. You wanted the tender wolf me, right? Yes. Tribal necklace we can sell? Uh, I guess? Alright. Moonberry juice, I don't need. Troll mojo, I don't need. That's trash. That's trash. That's quest. That's trash. You might hang on to. Oops, I just sold it by accident. But you might hang on to any wild vine that you have that actually sells for a decent price on the age. Oh, good to know. Generally speaking, anyways. Oh, here, let me give you these things to disenchant. I'm gonna disenchant that ass. Uh, thanks, bro. Hi, you're yeah. a tall one. Uh, I am a tall one. I'm tall. I shop in the big and tall section. Rid of. I don't think so. What did you say you bought from him? Off and away. Uh, he had a recipe Making for a uh, special purchase. Thing. Alrighty then. Oh, I don't see that. That's weird. Yeah, it was limited supply. I bought the only one. Making a special oh. purchase. I'm actually gonna use it. So, yeah. Goodbye now. Well, I'm an engineer. Ah, that's good. 
is good, yeah? Wait, uh, oh, he can't repair things again. Yeah, sadly. I was hoping to repair too, but oh well. And I found some E-thrill. They call it a mine. Oh, my. oh, wait, did you want that tender wolf meat? Sure, friend. All right, then you shall have it. Actually, that's the food that I'm eating right now, is tender wolf steaks. Mmm, crunchy, delicious. Ah. Alright, where'd we go? I'm standing on a little mountain thing, a little hill. Oh, okay, you're down there. Yeah. Let me give you those things. Okay. Then we have to kill you. Isles or something? Yes. Basically blood elves, but not enough range. Not than they end up being slightly not enough range. Not super different. that I could be on. Excuse me, miss. Oh, you're gonna heal yourself, you think? Oh, I guess I think. Whoa. You're gonna die, ho. We're gonna die, bruh. I am coming out of the booth. <laughs> Alright, pick up these plans. Or notes or whatever. Report. Oh yeah, apparently I we both got it. Cool. Oh, we have to burn it, I see. So I guess burning it did it for both of us. Yeah. It's too far away. He said my story was cool and he called me bro. <laughs> Cool, and you called me bro. Sure did. Right, drink up while I burn these plans. Hey, I burned them. I burned them good. What the fuck? My phone is like going buck nuts, man. Shit. The world ending. Someone launched the nukes. Sure. 
Why not? Now would be a great time to do that. Oh, drink my badge! Oh. <laughs> I fail records, mate. Okay. Or actually. Fuck you, you little jerk. Fucking hard, eh? Look at the scout. Her the ad. They're both scouts. Yeah. Well, I am standing next to a mountain. What's up, scout? Anal Scout. Com. Not as good of a site as willitfit.com, but. No. Take it. Really. Hey, guys. Okay. Will it fit? In my spanked. I think that was implied. Pretty much. Where are you going? <laughs> Killing dudes on the run. Killing dudes on the run. <laughs> He said he liked my story. Yeah, we must be boyfriends now. That is your long lost brother. Oh well, well, you know, whatever. This is America. Oh hi, you bitch. What are you thinking? Stupid bitch. And she's crazed. Add it with you, lady. Enough to hear with the likes of you. Where are you going? You forget yourself. I saw that fucking stomp. Mm -hmm. I'm stomping and I'm stomping and I'm stomping. No. Yep. Another friend. Fuck this guy. I come after who? You're dead. Man. Yeah. God damn it. I hate it when I can't charge. Rage. Not enough rage. Need more rage. You're gonna die, bitch. Sure is. Man. Hooray. You did it. Does that mean you can leave this shithole now? Nope. Oh, we have to do an escort quest, thing. don't we? Everybody loves escort quests. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are you fucking double fist in my ass? What's wrong with you, bitch? That's just what she's into. Well, I'm not. There you go. There you go. You're going to die, bitch. I'm coming out of the boom. Yes. Oh, good. Let's fucking watch this idiot get killed. Amon. Hey, Where did this fairy fire crap? Mm. I have that also. I have that also. 
I have that also. You're going fucking fool, Jin. Like that? I do like that. Oh dear. I'm just gonna bring this over here. gonna pull this fucking wolf most likely mm, maybe not i kind of stay behind him and see what he pulls here we go oh, oh yeah God, look at everybody <laughs> Oh lord, I don't... quite a few of them at the same time and yeah, we just fought like four enemies at once and I was like I mean okay Kill more of these elves. Uh, I didn't get any message or anything. What does your quest say? Escort Rinjin to safety. But like in your quest log, does it say it's complete? <sighs> Should be the first quest in the hinterlands. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Had too many bad experiences with this shit. Yeah, no, that's understandable. It's too far away. Well, they probably good to level my sword some more. Huh? Bunch of lobes, kid. Not enough for Need more. We'll have fun, I guess. Do we need to kill these assholes? Oh, yeah, we still do need to kill quite a few of them. Hey, 
go. Enough rage. Need a <sighs> rage. Busting makes me feel all right. To get closer. I'm out of range. Not <laughs> Fighting you with my Glad we're on the same page. Yeah. Not enough rage. Need <laughs> I came. And these fucking lusty blood elves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are pretty lusty. <laughs> blood. I know where all that blood's flowing to. Mm. Straight to your P Chanel. Right. It is correct. I need to get closer. Hello. <laughs> You know, like bye -bye. <laughs> that guy got a pretty emphatic bye bye. Yeah, he sure did. It's too far away. Bitch ain't even gonna bother with mind play on you. Waste of fucking mana. Shorts. You going? Need more That is ready. Give me your loot. Give me your shit. Give me the warrant. I'm out of range. <laughs> Give me your creamy batch. Give me your creamy batch, please. That is it. Yeah, I think I get you. <sighs> he finished. I'm so humiliated, I'm about to blow my load. You told me it's time to make love. But I can't. Why not? Ah, uh, scheduling conflict. That's fair, I guess. Yeah. You told me it's time to make love, but I can because I spewed all over myself. I really hate it when that happens. <laughs> spewed all over myself. <laughs> uh, the tip was funny. Killing you. I'm out of rage. Man, I probably just won these assholes to death. Yeah, they're pretty weak. They're, you know, very slight and wispy. Yeah.
for the um, EXP of Blood Elves. It's delicious. Wait. Right. Oh boy, we don't need any more Outrunners. Thanks for the pizzas, Mickey. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Come over here and die. Thanks for the pizzas, Mickey. Not ready yet. Not enough Pretty cool. I don't think you're very cool. You're cool. Not enough rage. It's kind of hard. Not enough rage. You did. I don't have. You're target. also dead. <laughs> I'm so humiliated. I'm about to lose my badge. <sighs> you told me it's time to make love, but I can't because I like jerking off more than actually making love. Yeah. Because I like feet too much. What? Show feet. Show me the souls. Yeah, that's when you know, like, you're really, like, in the niche of the niche, when, like, you're not just into feet, but specifically into dirty souls. I don't understand it. And I don't, I don't see it. I just don't see it, me. and I find it somewhat amusing. It's, it's funny, yeah. Of all the things to be, like, attracted to. Like, you know, no shame, I just find it kind of amusing. Yeah, no, not, 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 not shaming. Well, what up, how? Like my big S word? You're gonna die, bitch. Thanks for the mage weave, slut. It was delicious. <laughs> I know that you wear that shit as lingerie. Hmm. For all your little elven girlfriends. Perhaps as negligee. Lingerie and negligee. Fuck you, bro. There you go. Biggity batch, biggity batch, batch of the batch. Not a fan. Here's another scout, and another scout. We only need one, so let's get. Fuck you, dude. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> One ranger. And then we're done with these jerks. What's this? A ranger off his guard. Scout, scout. Don't need you. What are you? You're an outrunner. Don't need you.
You're an anal troubadour. Tell me more about that. I'm gonna do that, I think. No. Maybe one of the jerks inside is a ranger. Marksman. That's a ranger. All right. Yoink. Hello. Excuse me, bitch. Oh. Skyrim in that ass and the hell of our gangsling. Later, elves. Fuck your lives. Later, pointy ear toolboxes. Wow. <laughs> you really showed them. Ow. Owned. No con to be for me tonight, kid. I'm bummed. Hmm, yeah, that sucks. I do enjoy right. your corned beef. Yeah, it's delicious. I wasn't probably planning on getting any, but, you know, I do like it. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. We usually go to this place in our town. It's like a diner, and they always do it for uh, St. Patrick's Day, but... They're closed, so no such. Luck. Are they closed totally? Not open for takeout? Ah, uh, that's a good question. They may be, but I didn't go by. All right. They close early, too, mm -hmm. typically, but we would like made it a point to get there early enough. What brings you here? There you go, friend. Good luck, friend. No shit, you have to get off my fucking horse, kid. Geronimo! Oh, what the fuck? Wait, you went up? Mm, yeah, I jumped off. What the fuck? Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Oh boy, did it ever hurt. My poor horsey, my little horsey. You know? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck is Sabretooth? Hmm. That's a good question. That is a good question. That was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was not there for that. You just got one question. Who the fuck is Sabretooth? It is a perfectly valid question. <laughs> I mean, it is. There ain't, ain't no denyings. So there's no mistakings. <laughs> Shit, there's cues are back this week, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, relatively early, I guess. Alright, so we gotta loot one of these things and make sure you don't sell it, eat it, or put it in the bank, because I guess you can. Violet Tragen? Yeah. I gotta go get one. There's some over here. Here's one. Yeah, I see one right in front of me. Okay. A bunch of them, I guess. Oh, 
going to the altar of Zul. Okay, uh, kill all the soothsayers. No, we've already done that. Uh, let's click off that. Okay. Now we need to finish killing stalkers. I'm gonna take out the poppers. Get to get the howler. I think that coordinates would actually take us to the stalkers, but the howlers I think are kind of around here. Yeah, here's one. I'm out of range. Let's kill the puppy. <laughs> Damn, that's dark. I love killing puppies. Where you going? I just had somebody whisper to me, have you guys done the elite quests? Yeah, they also whispered me, and we have not. We will at some point, but we might not get to it tonight. We, just, we probably won't, because like, it takes like at least an hour to do them. Sorry, like, I'm late. We're not there yet. That'll be a next time thing. More rage. Not enough rage. <laughs> Need more rage. Oh, you made a friend. We don't need to kill him. Need more rage. Not enough rage. Fuck you, bro. Need more rage. I need to get closer. <laughs> Last. Give me your shit. Give me your feces. It's too far away. Need more Not rage. Like More both. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of kids born around Christmas this year. Big 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 no one wants a Christmas birthday. Not enough Oops, wrong spell. Wrong language, Timmy Kim. Wrong language, Timmy Kim. What do you know about this Chinese virus? The Kung Flu? Yeah, that was... I mean... Like, it's racist, but it's also kind of clever. It's definitely racist. <laughs> Kill the rest of the savage owl beasts. We should be back in this general direction somewhere. I made a lot of friends behind us, so I would keep running. That's pretty cool. I think I actually got out of combat finally. That's good. Oh, 739. So look at that. 
Ah, yeah, okay. Good song, I like it. Thanks. Savage Owl Beast. I'm not gonna like this, Savage Owl Beast. Sorry, bro. But I've got to kill you. Killing you is easy because you're beautiful. Hmm. Hmm, that was the person that whispered us. <laughs> yeah, I blessed him slash her slash they. Them. They. Blasting your dumb face. Not enough rage. Here's a fella. I need to get closer. Hi, fella. Not a Far away. I'll get this boyfriend over here. Okay. Not enough reach. Hey, here you are, buddy. Well, you fellas sure are angry. Ornery. Are savage. Ornery little critters. Savage, they're always fucking lighting you up for stupid stuff and mm -hmm. talking about your bombs. They're always snapping into Slim Jims. Oops, these are yeah, that's a good point, too. We don't need that one. Let's go back. No board. Snap into Be it. Snap into the beefy, juicy excitement or what? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Ooh, still yeah, trying to avoid just... this invisible wolf stuff. Baby Josie Taste! I can see a guy over here. Ooh, there's one right here. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool, man. Oh, Lord. I'm out of range. Oh, Lord. What? You made a mistake. Oh. Hey, he's, he's right in front of me. Oh, Lord. If he doesn't curse, snap into it. Hurt the board. Pretty sweet uh, commercial. Hello. Yeah, dude. I do love that beef juicy taste. The beefy juicy taste. Mm -hmm. Get your cock shined up, grab a stick and juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move you. Take a sniff. Put it out. <laughs> the best part is you don't even have to change the fuck up later. <laughs> I mean, I, I obviously made the part where it's... Get your cock uh, shined up. Get your cock shined up. The rest of it... Yeah. It's just verbatim. The song. The song Take a good. sniff. Yeah. Pull it out. Is this gonna move you when you pop it in your mouth? Yeah. yeah! That's a lot. It's great. That that commercial was fucking being horny on Maine long before it was popular. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> Get your cock shined up! <laughs> <laughs> so dumb.
<laughs> yeah, like all the best and funniest things. Yeah. Now, my sword skill's getting pretty close. Mm. Only 11 more points, and it will be equal with my axe skill. Oh, fuck off. Busy. I'm busy, Torin. Leave me alone. Mm. Ah, you fuckers. Take a sniff. Take a sniff. Pull it out of hell. No. Hmm. Oops. I was trying to use that on myself, but sure. Sure. Get your dink shined up. Why don't you fuck off? Criminy. I'll wait for my boyfriend. <clears throat> Get your hog churned up. You know what I'm saying? Grab a dick that's juicy, fruity. I don't. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Alright. So we're going to be jumping off into the ocean here. Oh. Um, yeah, I think this is the right way to go. Hmm. Pretty sure. If we die, then it'll be a learning experience. Yep. Whee! Oh boy. Yay! <sighs> Just dismounted, but all's well. All's well, it ends well. Get your hogs in there. I can't stop. <laughs> I know there was one that was like. They had one that was get your skis shined up, but it was for. Water skiing. Mm, yeah. They had another one that was strap your snowshoes on. As one does. Grab a stick of juicy fruit. I'm sure there's more that I even don't remember, but whatever. Get ready to fight. Oh shit, really? Yep. Hello. Lunch. Tell them large merge, didn't ya? There we go. Move to another island. Now, the question is do we walk back to shore and swim from shore? I think that's probably the best plan. The swimming is slow. That's the truth. Get your snowshoes on! Grab your boyfriend's dick. Mmm. <laughs> the taste is gonna move you. For sure. Take a lick of his knot. <laughs> That's a, yeah. I like it. Wow. Heading for that island over there. 
see that island? Yeah. You can go there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Thanks, Todd. Mm -hmm. Bro, see that island, bro? Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you see it? You go there all thanks to God Howard. Oh, yeah, God. Mm -hmm. Take a sneer off. Ah, oh, man, I want to listen to those tunes now. I'm definitely sure you can find that on YouTube. Oh, yeah, definitely. As well as Murdoch. And my pal, too. Mm -hmm. Murdoch. Murdoch. That's right. Let's splash, motherfucker! Hell yeah. Er, uh, hell no. Wow. What am I doing? Oh, the tablet. Right. Opening. This. I don't know. And it has a follow up. <coughs> the tablet has a follow up quest. <laughs> Whee! Turn a whole bunch of quests in. Should we get our snowshoes on? Probably should. Get the plague mask on. Tell me more about plague masks. <clears throat> uh, actually, I don't have. Uh, I have like a Venetian mask that's in the shape of a plague mask, but not a real plague mask. But not a real plague mask. Sad. It is. Kind of sad because it would be much cooler to have an actual plague mask. Hell yeah, especially right now. Yeah. Get your ding shined up. Grab a dick of some juicy dude. There you go. That works. I like it. Thanks. Taster is gonna move ya. <laughs> Take a whiff. Pull it out. Uh, Taste is gonna oh. move you when you pop it in your mouth. It's just juicy weird dudes. That. They're gonna move ya. <laughs> Their juicy hogs will pierce right through you. <laughs> That's good. I'm a fan. Oh, shit. Oh, man. It's, very, it's great to be so dumb in these horrible times. Yeah. Right. What else are you going to do? Shit. Nothing. Just cry. Yeah. Slag trees, lots of tools. Jimmy the fucking ducats, idiot. Oh. Talk to me. You know, better dismount in this hut. Yeah. This open air hut. Talk to me. Bye bye now. Relax. Stay away from the voodoo. Alright, I'm gonna right click that off. Are we turning in another one over here or something? Uh, we're picking up two quests off the board. And then we're turning in a quest to this jerk. Oh, What's you want? That. Oh, I see. Not to Later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like we are. Hold on. Let's see. Current guide. No, maybe not. Oh, it's not telling us to. Alright. Fuck it. Maybe a little later. Hold on. Who you be? Stalkers. Stalkers. Savages. On. Picking up separation anxiety. Wired lost his lunch. It's the big boy in the end. Yeah. He's a heckin' chomper. Shit, we're, we're getting pretty... Well, I'm getting pretty close to Fiddy. Yep. You might be really close to Fiddy. Yeah, not quite. Thought I might do it from that, but... Kidnapped Elder Torn Tusk. This lunch that we got. Uh, hmm. Got some weird stuff oh. in it. 
I guess I should look at that, huh? Loaded. Uh, exactly the same as what I'm wearing. So I guess it's going to depend on how they look. <sighs> uh, no, I like what I have on better. So I'll just sell these. Or something. I'll sell for these them up. Alright, what are we Where doing now? Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Inside. What did I get? Uh, Myrmidon's helmet, which is male, which I can't... Oh, it's a BOE. Does that... Oh, male probably doesn't do anything good for you. But I want these blue plants for Mithril Helmer. Helmet. Uh, you want that? do anything for me. I'm not a blacksmith. Uh, oh. But you might be able to sell them. All right, yes. Let's see. It says they sell for, like, eight gold. At least my thing does. It's probably... I haven't scanned the Octoness in a while. Who's this guy above the inn? Like uh, stairs? Inside the inn and then like through the back door up to stairs. Stay away from the voodoo. Stay away from the voodoo. Be seeing ya. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, now is when we would do the elite quest. Um the elite quests. Dark vessels? What's this? Yeah, pick up both quests. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Like, we definitely want to do them. They're great experience, and uh, they actually give some really nice quest rewards, too. Um, almost 11 o'clock. Still so proud to this asshole. So, yeah, let's save that for next time. All right, friend. Today, we will head to pick up the quest that we didn't do here, so that'll be a nice long flight for us. Where's the vendor? Oh yeah, here's the vendor. Let me sell you things, Fred. Blood and thunder! I'm wondering if it will be longer to fly directly there or to head to Undercity and catch the Zeppelin. I don't know, bro. I don't know either. Alright, what can I sell you? That... Do you want uh, greater mana potions? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you these. Hold on, I get those tender wolf meats too. Mm, delicious. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Valhal. Valhal. Strength. Strength and honor. Sell in the auction house at all? No, we do not. So fuck him. Freck him. Freck him. Freck him. So all this other shit is quest items. Get your house and do it. Let me hit the mailbox. It'll allow me to empty up my inventory a bit.
Where are we going, by the way? Um, we need to go to Booty Bay. So it's either a very, very long flight, or we head back to Undercity and try to catch the Zeppelin. Eh. I don't care about the flight. Whatever. Oh, that is a long one, huh? Now let's try to catch the Zeppelin. So Under we're city. going to you see. Yeah, you're home. Yay! Go to your home. <laughs> Plus, then we can. Well, I think I just sent away everything that I wanted to auction. So whatever. <clears throat> Dump some shit in the bank, though. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Because yeah, this first we'll need to find a group to do these quests, like. Even just, I don't think the two of us could do it alone. We might, but it would be tough and slow going. We don't necessarily need a full group of five, but if we got like at least one DPS, that would help. Um, and there's just a lot of shit to do, so we it would take at least an hour just doing the quests. Never mind actually finding a group, so. Hmm. But it is definitely worth doing because let's see. Fat XP's dog. Oh, there's a wand as a quest Ooh. reward that does forty one point one DPS and six intellect and three stamina on it. Uh, yeah, that's better than what I have. Um there's some nice plate leggings for me and some cloth gloves with eleven intellect and increases healing done by spells and effects by up to twenty two. Yep. That's better than what I got. And then there's the right, Rune so. of the Guard Captain, which increases attack power and chance to hit, which is actually good for both of us, even though it might not seem that great to you. Uh, we should probably do these quests, then, it sounded yeah. like. And then there's another one that gives a blue necklace, which is really nice for me, and a blue cape, which I'm going to assume is very good for you. Nine intellect, six stamina, and increases damage and healing done by spells and effects by up to twelve. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so really good, good quest shit. rewards. Good uh, the, yeah, the trinket is actually like best in slot, like pre raid for most like melee classes, and it's actually even good for <clears throat> for like DPS casting because it's because hit chance is really good like chance to hit um, for everybody like spellcasters and melee people hmm. um, the attack power obviously doesn't really do anything for you but the, the hit chance is good for like high end stuff um, but plus we don't have any trinkets oh we, we have the nifty stopwatch but we still have one empty trinket slot so anything's good yep that is true you all fucking geared up, kid. Yeah, brother. I'm flying. Oh, oh, oh blaster that. Oh, dear. Yeah, I suppose I could uh, send that to myself. How do I need to make this? Get your bin It's actually not terrible. I can make that eventually. We're flying! Yay! <sighs> Get your motherfucking cock shined up! Tell me about shining up your cock. Well. Just uh, put a little bit of uh, oil on it. It could be, you know, like a lube, or it could be a mineral or baby oil. Mm -hmm. But it could also, you know, be something like canola oil mm -hmm. that you just have in your kitchen. Okay. I'm down. That's it. Like those a lot. What do they look like? 
Not as cool as what I'm currently wearing, but they are an upgrade, so oh well. Alright, uh, the Zeppelin was not there, so let's just jump on and run for it. Jump on our mounts and run for it. <clears throat> run for what? The Zeppelin. What? Well, it's not there, so hopefully it will be there by the time we get out. I see what you're saying. You can hit the bank on the way back or whatever. It's actually a bank in Booty Bay, so... Oh, no! What happened? I went in under the fucking <laughs> elevator. <laughs> I'm gonna die! I don't think you die. Oh, I didn't. You just, like, phased through it or whatever. Yeah, I did. I've never actually done that. Yeah, it happens. If you, like... If you go in at just the right second. Or the wrong fine. second, however you want to look at it. Yeah. Well, we actually have a quest we can turn it in UC, so... Oh. And since we have... Well, we actually have three open slots, so that's not terrible. Get your fucking dink shined up! Alright, the Zeppelin is still not here. Unless it just hasn't phased in for me yet. But no, it does not appear to be here. Oh, it is arriving. Oh, God! <laughs> it's gonna be close. Oh, it's gonna be close, isn't it? Nah, we're good. Use my stopwatch because I was terrified of missing it. Mm -hmm. Making some age we bold dog. Do the dog just doing that old thing. Yeah. I like that old thing. Struck him a piece of dub with cream cheese. I'm kind of disappointed that, like, I finally got a, a new two-handed weapon and it's, like, really boring looking. Yeah, it's kind of lame compared to the snow shovel. Yeah, it's just like a big, big, dumb-looking sword. Yeah, no way around that. It's like my one-handers are actually cooler-looking swords. But, yeah, that's, that's a different situation. Um, but, yeah. My current sword is not super cool. It's just... It's just a sword. That it is, lad. That it is. And I still don't really know if it's an upgrade or not. I have to test it once, like... My weapon skill's about the same for both of them. I have to do some DPS some recount testing. Shit. Fucking shit. Eh, uh, well, kinda. Fucking shit is right, pal. Uh, oh, my pee pee is burning. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah, see? Please. <laughs> what up, lady? Zug Zug is right. Send me to Booty Bay. Swooty, swiggity swooty, coming for that booty. May your blades be something something. Yeah. Swigger that swooty, I'm coming for that booty. Dig it a damn. Let's see if anything else happened in YouTube chat. <sighs> Shit. Where to get elemental earth and fire? 
No, that person's in our guild that we told to fuck off. Oh, I didn't uh, tell them to fuck told. off. I just didn't say anything, basically. Yeah. What do you know about Swiggity Spooty? Mm, I know that I'm coming for that booty. Oh, yeah. Swiggity Spooty. I love another dude's booty. Don't say. You don't oh. say. Dig a dig a blig. It's time to take some boo shots because it's motherfucking St. Patty's Day and I'd like to drink. Yeah. And I have dubious Irish heritage. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I like it. Thanks. Unguro. That's where the dinosaurs live. Yeah. So there you go. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think. I'm going to take this fucking shot real fast. Just two cards. Oh, wait. Live chat. There we go. Uh, yeah. hmm. That's weird. Ah, it's nice. Those, like, things that that guy said earlier seem to be gone now for whatever reason. Huh. I don't get it. Also, no. Such is life. Uh, oh, uh, so yeah, we're going to the first floor of the inn. Hmm. Okay, bro. I need to get closer. Hey. Ooh. Be seeing you. There's a little gnome down here. I'm glad I could help. Spirits be with you and such. Also a couple quests we can turn in here, which is nice. That's it. Taking this lost grog, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. And then come over here. We can try in a quest. Upstairs? Outside. Oh. I am stuck on some motherfucking polygons. Do, 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 do. the best, isn't it? Yeah, it's something, all right. Oh, hi, guy. You need something? Uh, that one, I guess. Ooh. Hey, I don't give a fuck about either of these things. Yeah. Ooh, cloth with strength? That's dumb. I am gonna de- Are we taking this thing or no? Uh, not right now. We might later. I don't know. I am gonna de- -e That dumb crap that you just gave me in front <laughs> of your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny for some reason. <laughs> like, here's that precious thing I wanted to give you for doing that cool quest. It's like, all right, cool. Just throw it right in the trash right in front of him. Pleased to meet you. Greetings. What's this? Leather. And a cape. Neither one is good for me. Yeah. Right Neither of them. Oh, shit. The big 5-0. Oh man, that's how you do it. Let's see here. What am I going to spend my talent point on? That. I'm jumping for jelly for you. Oh boy. Alright, um, now. Well, yeah, now we should go back to Under City. And probably call it a night once we finish our business in Under City. All right, bro. Big, 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 shig, rig, lig, big, shig, dig, 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 d
Um, so would it be fair to say that this is the highest level you've ever been in, like, Vanilla WoW? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think you were, like, 46. Oh, 46, okay. I remember exactly. Hmm. It's 46. How close are funny. you to dinging? Less than a cell. All right. Wait, there's a quest to turn in an Undercity, too, so you might hit 52. Oh, fucking blast. Oh, shit. Someone said congrats, bull meat. Oh, shit. Um, including me. Yay. Yeah, we're basically a mere 10 levels away from endgame. Uh, dude, we're going to do it. Yeah. Um, so we're at, this is episode 28, I believe. Um, I would say... Look, everyone's saying grats to you. Oh, shit. Hard on a warrior. Good work. Soloing to fifty as a priest is pretty tough. Sure, I mean, as yeah. a as a warrior, I mean, actually, priest is not that hard, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> shadow shadow form or shadow priests and is pretty pretty radical. I mean, soloing to sixty as anything in classic is kind of hard, but you know. It's certainly. Uh, some things are harder than others. Hunter, Warlock are probably the two easiest ones to do, then probably Priest. Um, then... Uh, maybe Shaman would be the next easiest, or Paladin. I don't know. Though. Yeah, maybe Shammy because they have like their little totems to help them out. And they can heal, you know, so that always helps. Anything that can heal themselves is a bonus. Uh, Mage is hard, I found, but I think once you get over the hump, it's probably easier because you can do like AoE fucking grind leveling. Right. Yeah, I feel like early on it's hard as shit. Uh, once you get to like 20, 25, 30, I think it gets easier. Yeah. Um,. Warrior tends to stay pretty difficult throughout. Um, rogue is pretty difficult. I would think Rogue would be hard because you're really squishy. Yeah, you are. Um, like, you can stealth past a lot of stuff to get quests done, but then you end up, you know, not getting the experience from, like, killing shit, so... Um, it slows you down that way. Um <laughs> What else is there? Is that it? Mm, let's see. Warrior. Shaman. Mage. We talked about Paladin. We talked about Warlock. We talked about Hunter. We talked about Rogue. We talked about Priest. Let's see, there were eight classes on each side in Vela. So, Warrior... Priest, Mage, Warlock, Hunter, uh, Rogue. Uh, what am I missing? Paladin, Shammy. All right, three casters. Priest, Mage, and Warlock. Okay. And then we've got um, Warrior and Rogue as yep. the two melee classes. 
Yep. Hunter. I'm still missing something. What the fuck am I missing? Is there another... Oh, that's going to bother the fuck out of me. Oh, boy. Let's see. And now... Uh... Wow, classes. All right, hold on. Before we, so we get priest, all right, let's get on the zeppelin. Oh, druid. Druid. That's what we were forgetting. Uh, Easy to which, forget. You know, it, it's like the fucking class I played through most of classic, <laughs> or a good portion of classic. Which is funny. Right. Uh, you played that, and I played hunter, and I was terrible at it. Oh, my God. I feel bad for every fucking party that we got wiped. <laughs> I'm making up for it now by saving parties by being a fucking you know healer so actually I would say probably uh, Hunter and Warlock are definitely the two easiest to level then probably Priest and then probably Druid um, Druid. Druid Druids have a lot of versatility they can heal themselves, they can tank they can DPS you know, they can be a caster, DPS caster so can do a lot of different shit um, then I would probably say Shaman. Uh, I don't know enough about Paladin, honestly, in, in Classic to say where they fit in. Um, I've never gotten one past, like, level 10 or something, so... Because they're just... At, at least at early levels, they're super boring to play. And not good, so... I just get... And it's Alliance, so I have no interest in, like, really playing it anyways. Um, Fuck the alleys, homie. Yeah. Then I would say probably... I mean, like we said, Mage is tough early on, but I feel like after it gets past that hump, it's probably the next easiest. Then I would say Warrior. I would say Rogue is the hardest, probably. Yeah, Rogue's tough. Unless you have, like... Well... We're kind of lucky in that for most of our WoW experiences, like, we've had each other. Yeah. Um, going it alone is real hard. It is. Especially in, in Classic. Yeah, especially with no, like, LFG, like, yeah. utility. In retail, it's, you know, whatever. Like, at least probably since... Oh, I mean, in retail, you could just collect ten enemies and just kill them yourself. Right. Um, it wasn't quite like that in, like, say, Lich King era, but it was still significantly easier than it is now, or than, See, than actually, it is in Classic. I actually never played those. Mm. Well, so that'll... Oh, I just ripped that. I do hope they uh, bring those out. Yeah. I, I think they probably will. Should probably find. We should probably hear something about it relatively soon because we're about to hit the last phase, or not about to. I mean, we just hit the. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, close! Real close! Ouch! I nearly died. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> that was a good one. Living dangerously. I got down to like thirteen percent. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was pretty low. Oh, wow. I was like, ah, if he's going, it's fine. <laughs> it so embarrassing. So humiliated. Yeah. I'm so humiliated. How about to blow my load? You tell me it's time to make but I can't because I spy you all over my tail. All right. Open up your door. <sighs> Dismount because. I always have a hard Open time the door, things. you fucking whore," <laughs> said Barnacle Bill. That's somebody That's I haven't thought about in a long time. Probably for the best. Yeah. Good old Barnacle Bill, the sailor. I still remember more or less all of them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty bad. <laughs> all right, so there's a quest out here that we can turn in somewhere. Yeah, I saw it on my map briefly, and then it disappeared. Yeah, uh, that might hit you the big 5-0. -oh. 
I'm going to bust my load. Busting makes me feel good. Oh, wait, it's right, right here. Right here. I am forsaken. Two quests, actually, so you should almost definitely. Oh, oh no! Victory for wait, wait, wait! I might, I might make it still. Oh wait, there's another one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Is this robe any good for you? Uh, kinda. Oh, it's not even a robe. It's like a, oh, it's a tunic. Eh? Okay. Why can't I complete the quest? You gotta pick a reward. I am. Oh. Oh, I think he's still talking to you or something, maybe? I don't know. Let's try it now. It's like bugged. This is. I, I can't. I, it doesn't. Just like exit out and go back. Oh, no! What happened? I can't. I don't think I got it. I oh, know I did. Okay, you got the I, you got the I tunic. Don't. Yeah, I got the tunic. Yay. I think it's I think it's better than what I have. Yay. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. Uh, what do you have? What do actually, you have? it's really kind of not. Okay. Uh, what I have it has 9 intellect and 14 spirit. This is 10 intellect and 10 stamina. Oh. Mm. That has, like, <laughs> some spell effect, too, right? Uh, the tunic does has uh, healing and damage by 13, but what I have says healing and damage plus 18. Oh, okay, then never mind. It's not... <laughs> so it's just kind of like, eh. All right, uh, then. Uh, so, yeah, that's actually probably going to be a DE. Yeah. I'll tell you what time it is, though. It's time to DE this shit. Yeah. But also, it's going to be a good time to, like, learn new skills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I always forget about that, honestly. But I should probably go do that, too. <sighs> Ding in 50 feels so good, just like busting. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're a big boy now. <sighs> boy. And that final push, the final ten levels. <laughs> the first two or three will go pretty quick. And, like, from, like, 53 to, like, 58 is kind of a slog. And the last two levels actually go relatively quick. Oh, I have to go. To, I can't learn fucking cloth from this dickhead anymore. I have to go to the asshole and. Yeah, I should. That's actually a good idea. I should go to um, the like master first aid trainer while I'm over in this part of the world. Is there in uh, the Earth Island. Highlands? Watch your back. What would you ask? I was thinking where the priest trainers in the war quarter. Yeah, I think so. Which kind of makes not that much sense, but yeah. there you have it. Like, you'd think Priest Trainer is in Magic Order, but no. Yeah, you would pretty much think that. Wouldn't you? Oh, Lord, don't fall in the water. By water, I mean green slime. <laughs> Most attacks, but we'll be immune. And we'll be immune to fear effects. But all damage taken is increased by 20. Um, okay. I mean, I guess I'll take it, but... I seek more priestly training! Alright, filter. Sure, give me that. Oh lord, there's a lot of shit here, isn't there? Give me that. Yeah, there is. <sighs> wow. Powered shield, train. Inner fire, train. Powered fortitude, train. Watch your back. Uh, smite, I'm gonna skip. Flash shield, I will train. Prayer of healing, I will 
Train. Mm -hmm. a warrior class quest available. Ooh. Shadow Word Painal Train. Touch of Weakness rank 5. Train. Wow. Shadow Protection. Don't care. Fade rank 5. Sure. Uh, part of me just feels like I should just train them all, but I've never used Mind Soothe, Vision, or Control. Yeah, so, well, Mind Control can be kind of useful at times, but situational. Uh, mind I Soothe, I don't think I ever would ever use, really. I don't really use Smite or Holy Fire at all, because right. I'm Shadow Boy. Uh... This had better be good. Yeah, Shackle and Dead I don't really use. Shadow Protection I pretty much never use. Trust. Yeah, I think I'm good. Trust no one. Victory for Babel Dumas. <laughs> Agreed. I too wish victory for Burbel Dumas. Oh, I just fell through like the floor. Oh no. Uh all right, I had to dismount, and then I was able to get out of it. But now I'm in the muck, and I have to get out. So this is kind of shitty. You're in the ooze. I am. I know the secret of the ooze now that I've been in it. Yeah. You're going to mutate into a talking zombie. Oh, wait. Yeah, right? Victory for Bubble Dumas! <laughs> <laughs> It's dumb. It's great. I love it. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's cool. What if I should fly the TM? Like, even though it's eleven thirty and stuff, I don't really feel like getting off of the game. Mm. I am gonna have to go relatively soon. Um, but uh, I think it's certainly possible, now that you're working from home, that we could find other days to do this. Yeah. That's a good point. Also, um, victory for Marble Dumas. Oh, what is this? Plus, Shame. like, I'm not working Saturday, so we could always do one on Saturday if you're around. Or, like, Sunday. Yeah. Uh, actually, Sunday I probably will be working, but um, I, don't, I don't actually know what my schedule will look like next week, so... But, uh... Most likely going to be off tomorrow, but I have shit to do. Um, I'm working Thursday and Friday, but I should be off Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I got no plans for Saturday as far as I know, so. I assume you're kind of sheltering in place for the most part. Yeah, that's pretty much how that's working. As are many other people. Yep. I think, I think like, was it yesterday or the day before was, like, some like record was set for people streaming at once or something like that oh dude like so many online services shit the bed from just being overloaded mm. like um you know i was working and we use uh microsoft teams which is similar to like slack or even like a group me for like just right. texting and chatting mm -hmm. and uh yeah dude we fucking it just like crashed from just overuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I assume that's uh, you know, gonna happen. Kind of surprised WoW hasn't crashed. Well, I know we have queues right now. Yeah. Fuck that. I think I'll actually go back to that asshole. Where is he? I'm going off to my first aid trainer. So, what's that? Uh, you said Arafat. Arafat. Yeah. Yeah. Me yeah, to do it for a while. I keep forgetting. I think I'll go to TM to see if I can. Uh, do I have anything? No, I guess not. Might uh, switch over to my bank alt real quick to see if I can send myself enough mithril to. Level up my engineering some more, too. Oh, TM's like right next door. Yeah, it's a pretty quick flight. I'm gonna go grab a drink real fast. Okay.
Sweet. All right, cool beans. Uh, all right, here we are in Arathai. Let's uh, find the first aid trainer. I believe he's over in this building over here, directly ahead of me. If I recall correctly, or maybe outside of it. No, I think he's inside. I think he's this guy. Doctor. Oh, what now? Talk lady, watch Sweet. over you. Cool. So it's not even like a regular training thing. He just gives it to me for free. That's pretty cool. It's free! Um. Right, so I'm going to log over to my bank alt real quick. Hi! Hello! So, now that TP is such a commodity, mm -hmm. I've started using reusable battle rags. Oh, cool. That's not true. <sighs> yeah, we, uh, well, I don't know if that's appropriate to talk about on stream. <laughs> that's, if you have to question it, it's probably not. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, yeah, let's just say that we strictly use toilet paper in the bathroom now. I get your, uh, meaning here. <laughs> there he is, there's the master tailor. Hey, bro. Turn that. No. Simple black dress. Okay, sure. Red mage weave bag. Wonderful. Now you motherfuckers better have a, a uh, tailor supplier in town or I'm going to be rip shit. Hmm. I think, I'm pretty sure there is one. Yeah, there he is. There's the guy. <sighs> Red mage weave bag. Why would I want a red mage weave bag when it has the same exact shit as the... It just doesn't... Because it's because it's red. Red dye. You don't want some red? <laughs> what do I need? Another heavy silken thread? You learn what's make some heavy right. mage weave bandages. Oh man. Um so so one of the things that I was thinking about as a person who's worked in offices for the past geez close to 20 years i suppose mm. i started working in offices at boston university when i was 22 mm. and now i'm almost 40 yeah so yeah i guess 18 years uh before that all my work was in food service uh which i personally think is a very honorable profession and one of the hardest working jobs you can do. And people who work food service have a different level of hustle and multitasking than any other group of people. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell when you work with somebody who has worked in service and somebody who has not. Yeah. Because there is just a diff like a different different level of like hustle and yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Or even like just using like language. Like if you're walking behind somebody and you like say like behind. Yeah. That just stays with you your whole life. It does. You know and what I mean? Like, like and you use it like in your house, you use it in work or on the subway. Like you're just like walk by oh behind. I don't know if I've already told you this, but like when I was uh, at my last apartment, um you know, I had uh, like landlords had a cat. And I caught myself saying behind to the cat once. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I just thought to myself, like, did, did I just say behind to a cat? <laughs> like, you, yeah, just want, you just didn't want to spook the cat out. Right. Behind. Mm -hmm. We would always, like, say stuff like behind with sharp or mm. behind hot. If yeah. You had, like, hot 
thing or whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, you've been doing it longer than I have, certainly. Yeah, I mean, that's going to tend to be more in the kitchen. Uh, oh, I guess I did. I did back of the house. You right. did front of the house. Yeah, so that uh, makes sense. I don't really hear behind sharp too often. I think I have heard it, but it's not like super common. But I definitely hear behind hot a lot. Yeah. Um, then you could also get like you know beside you or whatever. Um, yeah, That's the other stuff we used to say. But you would say like uh, if somebody shouted an order to you, you would yell "herd" right. back. Yeah. So they you you were like like oh you know we got like whatever three salads like herd three salads all day. I think you mean. Yeah, well, all day would mean like three in this order, but five all day. All right. Three salads, five all day, or, you know, whatever. Yeah, new ticket, you know, you get three salads, so that's five all day. Well, 86 a salad, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we don't have any more left. Yep. I miss that shit. That shit was fucking cool, because, like, when you would power, th like, on, you know, I was on the, the line cook side. When you, yeah, I'm sure it's front of the house, too. When you would power through, like, a big dinner service, like, when it was over, you felt like a badass. With, wow. Oh, yeah. We fucking got through that gigantic dinner service on Friday night. Oh, hell shit. Like, last night, fucking, you know, I don't, like, so basically what we're doing is, um, you know, we're running with three people in the front of the house and three people in the back of the house. Um, so, you know, you get two cooks and a dishwasher in the back of the house. Front of the house, you get a driver, a bagger, and a manager. And the manager is also the takeout person like so i'm the one on the phones like taking all the orders um the baggers just staying in the back like you know on expo bagging everything and the driver is obviously driving and then when they come back they kind of help wherever needed you know whatever if they need to answer the phone they do that if they need to help bag they do that um until they go out again um I am not used to working the phones and takeout. Like, obviously, I do it, like, you know, if I'm there, like, I pick up the phone. But it's not, like, something that I'm just doing, like, my whole shift ever. Right. Um, and I wasn't, like, really super familiar with, like, all the little ins and outs of our takeout system. Um, so this was really, like, my first time doing it, like, as a whole, like, shift. Um, it gets crazy, like. <laughs> It's weird, sure. like, um, cause it, like, you know, cause we also, we do like DoorDash, we do, uh, Grubhub, uh, so we have like the tablets for those going off, the phone ringing, people coming in, like, either to pick up or to like order, like in person, um, and so like, there were a few times, even though like we weren't like super busy, but like, had a few moments where like, you know, I would have the phone ringing, the phone, like, oh, I would be on the phone already. The phone would be ringing on another line. Somebody would be there, like, in the door in person and have, like, both tablets going off. And I'm just like, ah! Um, so, like, yeah. Like, even at just at the end of the night last night with, like, this weird fucking shit going on, Skeleton Crew was like, oh, it felt kind of good. Got everything done. Yeah, dude. Um, but, yeah. It's, uh, Strength yeah, certainly, like, honor. you know. I would say, like, we really feel that the most, like, front of the house wise is um, if you're doing, like, expo, which can sometimes be, you know, depending on the restaurant setup, like, can be either a front or back of house job. Um, like, a lot of times it'll be a cook doing expo, um, but then a lot of times it'll be a manager, like a front of the house manager doing expo, uh, or some places are busy enough to have, like, a full time expo person. Um, but you know, you're the one like reading all those tickets, calling them out, basically like coordinating the whole kitchen and like also coordinating like the front of the house staff to like, you know, come and pick the shit up and get it out there. Um, and so you're kind of like the, the connection between both sides and, oh, yeah. and it's like, that's like when you, when you clear that board for the first time after a busy night, like when you get no tickets left, that's like. That's the best feeling, you know? Definitely. I did it the most at Applebee's where we had, like, the... Instead of having, like, actual tickets, we had, like, the the screen, you know? Like, like okay. you see, like, 
You see it like Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's and shit. They have like their kind of screens like that. Um, so it would have like, you know, I think it had like eight on one page and then you could hit a button to like page down if you had more tickets than that. But, you know, it would show you like, you know, just all the tickets on one screen and just be like constantly calling out. All right, I got like, you know, four stakes mid-well. I got four stakes mid. I got five stakes mid-rare, you know. Um... Yeah, it got pretty nuts back there, but I did yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, it's like, and when you work in a busy kitchen or a busy restaurant, like time goes by real fast. Yeah, it does. You're like, what the fuck? I've been here for eight hours already. I feel like I just got here. Yeah, like a lot of times the worst part about being slow isn't even like the lack of money. It's just because like time passes so slow. Yeah, like you're used, so boring. used to it when it's busy and it just like kind of zips back past and you're like, oh, cool. Um, so sometimes when things got like too stressful, um, at like Applebee's or whatever, uh, it was nice because like, um, we only had a dishwasher on like Fridays and Saturdays on like the slower days. Like just one of the cooks would like, you know, as, as needed go into the dish pit and wash dishes for a bit. The dish dog is the unsung hero of the fucking kitchen, man. But, like, if we ever got busy on, like, you know, a Thursday night or something, someday we didn't have, like, a an actual dedicated dishwasher. And if the kitchen was too busy to do it, I would just go back there. And, like, <laughs> sometimes, man, when you just want to, like, get away from everything else, like, don't have to deal with, like, complaining customers or servers that are bugging you about one thing or another or cooks that are fucking, you know, whatever. You just get back in that dish pit and you're just in your own little world, man. You're just washing it's dishes, true. fucking plowing along. It's real it's simple. Just it's hard work, but it's just real simple work that you don't have to think about. Like, yeah, but you just are just like, especially if it's busy, you're just pumping it out. Yeah, and you're just like, like it is. It's definitely hard work. Like you feel it at the end, but it's it's like it's just your very, hands like, feel it. Yeah, and it's but it's it's kind of like meditative. Like, yeah, yeah. Like there's something like mentally like clearing about it you know you're just like you're doing your 100%. thing because like you get into like this like rhythm and you just kind of like space out and you're just like pushing shit through and that's mm-hmm. tough I, I i was not kidding when i said that the dish dog is the unsung hero of the kitchen because no. any restaurant is only as good as like the amount of fucking dishes that are coming out mm-hmm. well and it's also like you know it's Nobody wants to do it. It's like the nastiest job in the restaurant, basically. Yeah. Um, and, you know, my first boss in the restaurant business, you know, he always told me, like, you know, if you ever get into, like, you know, a point where you're managing or an owner or whatever, you know, always be nice to your dishwasher <sighs> because, like, you know, fucking a host calls out, you can get, you know, a server to cover that, you know, fucking server calls out, you can bump a host up, you know, fucking bartender calls out, you can bump a server up. Your dishwasher fucking quits in the middle of a shift. Guess who's going to be stuck back there in that dish pit? You are. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because yeah, you're not pulling someone off the line to do dish dog. Because you need the people on the line. Right. And they would, like, look at it as, like, a demotion. And they're not going to Right. Do it. So, would the, so would anyone from front of the house. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to the back of the house. That's, that's where all the plebes live. Yep. Um... Yeah, the restaurant actually, that I worked at, there was always like a huge separation between front of the house and back of the house. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why, but it's not like necessarily always the case. Um, I mean, obviously, like a lot of times, language barrier is a big part of it. Um, For sure, yeah, but that that probably is a big part of it. Sure. But. Um, but even like at like the last place I worked before where I am now, where we had a lot of Latinos on both sides of the of the house, um, mm-hmm. even there there was kind of a pretty big division. Um, there was definitely like a you know front of even the the Latinos in the front of the house kind of considered themselves above the the back of the house. Hmm. But like. Uh, in Arkansas, like when I was uh, when I was at Applebee's, um, you know, most of the cooks there were were mostly white, um, and 
like so the division clearly wasn't based on any language barrier uh, but that was actually probably where the division was strongest of any place I've ever been. Uh, huh. It did tend to be, you know, more like, you know, a little more working class guys in the kitchen and, uh, you know, maybe like college kids in, in the front of the house, you know. Um, and, you know, it also tends to be, the kitchen anywhere tends to be a boys club. Um, yeah, definitely. So you get a lot of a lot of a lot of coarse language back there, and so like a lot of tend you tend to have a lot of you know ladies in the front of the house. Um, yeah, definitely servers and whatnot. So that tends to be an issue too. So you know, there's there's a lot of reasons, um, but uh, you know, some places are certainly better than others. Uh, I've worked, I've definitely worked in some places where there was less of a division or. None at all, really. Hmm. I always tried to get along good with my kitchen staff, whether you know whether I was a server, or manager, or whatever. Um, but you know, it is what it is. True. Just one of those things, I guess. That uh, you know. But anywho, uh, I think we're probably gonna be done here um, but, uh, like I said we could maybe you know get some get some other sessions in at random times during the week well be, we'll if be. I buy this what's that am I crazy if I if I buy this fucking wand for 10 gold <laughs> I don't know what is it uh no sorry it's 15 mm. it is 44 dps and plus 10 shadow spell damage mm. and uh what do you currently have uh 35.7 dps with plus six spirit <laughs> how much gold do you have uh 55 i mean you know a lot. It's but a big increase. It's also a fair amount of money. Um, yeah, I don't know. It is a lot of money. But yeah, I don't know. I'd say it's kind of up to you. Yeah. Um, I think it's worth it. Well, what's that one that we're going to be getting? Do we know? What is that? Uh, let's see. It is 41.1 .1 damage per second. Six intellect and three stamina, nature damage. Oh, what what's weird about this one is it's not shadow damage, despite being called the wizard's hand of shadow it's wrath. What is it? Arcane damage. It's arcane, but has plus ten shadow spell damage. Hmm, that is interesting. Whereas my current wand is shadow damage. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, son. Mm. God damn it! I had more mage weave. And supposedly, it's uh, the rate that it's going for is actually less than usually what it sells for. Mm. What is it? Uh, it's like forty percent, supposedly, according to my auction here. Right. Whatever the fuck that means. Hmm. Awful lot of money. Awful lot of money, friend. Sad news. You lose. Yeah. Oh, I guess I have extra Hinterlands Honey Ripple that I can get rid of. No oh, shit, I do too. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? Just throw it away. Do you still have... Uh, I guess we need that. A sample of... Endurium ore? Yes. We will still be using that. Ooh, I actually have some equipment in my bank that I can use. That's an improvement. Made some new pants. What about the ripple delivery? Do we still need that? Yeah, we need that. Alright. So I'll keep I'll just keep everything. Just was making sure. What now? Uh, but no, these pants are nice. I will take that for sure. 
these shoulders will be nice in another level. Ooh, they're pretty cool looking too. Alright. Uh, so next level I'll have those to use. This I think I can actually sell. Let's take these out and try to sell them. Embrace the shadow. Yeah, illusion dust. I don't know. Yeah, I'll try to sell them. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. the band of the unicorn! I got some new pants. They're not as cool looking as my old pants, but you know, they'll do. Now I will sell these ones if I can. I would like to get something new for my goddamn head. Yeah, I'm still wearing a male headpiece. <sighs> I'm wearing like this really lame fucking. Uh. What is it? It's like a headband. Mm. But it's like, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. God, let me actually look what's on the auction house for armor. Hmm. Wow, they're expensive. This is only 105 gold. It's <laughs> of a very slight upgrade to what I already have. 105 gold? Mm -hmm. Fuck. That noise, my guy. Now this is pretty nice. Actually, it's not super expensive either. Hmm. Actually, got one less strength than what I already have, but it has like eleven more stamina, eight agility, and ten fire resistance, and it's only like thirteen gold. Ooh, this is definitely better than what I have, but it's expensive. What the fuck? Ooh, here's a helmet. <laughs> um... This is cheap too. Ten strength, seventeen stamina, which is kind of side grady, but it's got way more armor than what I currently have. Ooh, and it's pretty cool looking. Cool else. looking helps. Let's see what else they got in the head department. Uh, that's lame. That's lame. That's lame. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. Give me that helmet. Give me that helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also gonna buy this armor. I feel like it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we get out here. Like Give gloves. me that helmet. Give me that helmet. Well, I could do with better gloves than that for sure. What the fuck am I doing? Yep, I'm buying it. Kind of a lot of money, but. Not a lot, a lot of money. Awful lot of money, friend. Rune cloth gloves. Jeez. Expensive. I'm out of range. But nice. Let's put on some new gear. Hot new duds. Tell me about hot new duds. No duds. No clothes. Mm -hmm. You know? I do know. What is I know very well. That's true. You, you did say it after all. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty nice. And fire resistance is pretty useful. No clothes. No clothes. What I'm going to sell both of the chest plates that I've been wearing. And I guess I'm finally going to sell this dumb helmet. And I'm going to sell that one too. Yeah. Dark lady, watch over you. Dark lady, watch over you. Dark lady, watch over you, dog. Dream dust. I don't even have anything I can do with dream dust yet, so... I guess that's the thing after vision dust. Mm. But before seven dust. Know <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. what I'm saying, dog? I do know what you're saying, dog. Oh, look at me. I'm wearing fancy new clothes. Ooh, let's see. You're moving around. I've got, Ooh, I've got two sets of horns now. Yeah, you really do. Weird. I just don't like my stupid headpiece. Mm -hmm. But. Take my shirt can... off. Yeah, take off your shirt. Is there anything cool? Or, wait. Is there miscellaneous headgear? Or is it all? No, I guess it's gonna be cloth for you. Yeah, it's gonna be cloth for you. Head. Actually, though, I will look in the miscellaneous department for some rings. 
Gossamer headpiece of the eagle. What does that look like? Both of my rings are pretty lame. Ooh, that's much cooler. Damn. Uh, 12 intellect and 12. That's pretty nice, but it's 20 gold. That's certainly more than I want to spend. This one is 4 gold. None of that is any good. I mean, I guess that's good, but whatever. I don't oh, no. Stamina. Fuck stamina. How about any capes? How's my current man? My current cape sucks. Can I get a better cape? Can a brother get a better cape? Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good one. I mean, five gold's kind of a lot for a cape, but it's a lot better than what I have. What's this? I think I have these, though, don't I? Fifteen intellect. What do I have now? Ten intellect, five stamina, six spirit. Well, I, mean, I could just put those bad boys on, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'm fine. <clears throat> Whatever. We still have not run through our arrested experience, huh? Well, I guess, huh? I still don't even see the end of it. I figured we killed a lot of stuff this this session. We might have like gotten through a good chunk of it, but guess not. I suppose not. Else, I have oh. Uh, let's do wrist. Let's see if I have anything cool for wrist. No. 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 Alright. I'm all kitted out in new gear. Well, I mean, not all, but you know. Fair amount. A fair amount of new gear. I couldn't see if there are any weapons, but I doubt I'm going to find anything better than the things I have. I do, they'll probably be really expensive. Yeah, I mean, that's nice, but it's uh, 20, 20 gold. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot. And it looks exactly like my snow shovel, except it's got like a green tint to it. Ooh, those are nice, but they're 13 gold. Fuck that, dude. Two-handed maces, what do we got in that department? Mm, kind of nice, but 25 gold. Very nice, but 40 gold. What's this? Ooh, that's real nice. And it's 50 gold, so yeah, that makes sense why it's so nice. Dumb looking, but... <laughs> Nothing else good in that department. How about two handed swords? Mm. Meh. What's this? Ooh, no, that's terrible. That's terrible. I mean, well, okay, no. I guess that is pretty good. Uh, ooh, it's cool looking too, but it's also uh, 30 gold. Ooh. That's a lot. 30 is a lot. Yeah, 30 is a lot. That's, that's kind of decent. But it's like, I mean, it's five gold, so that's not too much, but it's. It depends how much that proc goes off, and I don't, I don't like to rely on procs. That's. Okay, that's pretty nice, but also expensive. Uh, what's this? Weird. That's also weird. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, well, one-handers. What do you got? One-hander. That's a lot of money. Awful lot of money, friend. Holy mackerel! 
What up, friend? <sighs> wow. Uh, this particular staff has plus 23 intellect. Hmm. That's a lot. It's expensive, though. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Well, nine gold. Kind of expensive. Mm. I, should look at, I should really look at wands, though. Hmm. <sighs> Where are my wands? Damn it. Right, well, look at staffs first. So. Well, I'm sure as riveting as this content is, uh, people, anybody watching is getting a little bored of us peruse the auction house. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. So I am going <laughs> to. Uh, are we still live? Yeah, we are still live. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to call it a night. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, like we said, we might be back um, maybe Saturday. Maybe for Saturday. We'll see. Okay. See what we'll happens. See how... Exactly. Uh, but I've been the Great Pirate Solomon. Veteran Soda Pop. Everybody wash your hands. That's the truth. And uh, good luck.